I'm telling you, bro. Anytime, <laughs> anytime a black woman becomes a fed, it's because she loves hood niggas. No, ooh, ooh, I like that. That's a good conspiracy. That is probably true. It is not. I'm telling you, there's theoretical shit to back this up. One hundred percent. If a black woman goes into like law enforcement, it's because she's like secretly, deeply, deeply in love and enamored a by a street nigga, and she can't figure out how to get him to do right. So she go. We she had a whole thing out for everybody. We so had a whole article blue. on this show, like maybe like two weeks ago, about. Uh, 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 a CO who who ran away with a yep. inmate. Yep. Yeah. Because he was banging her out. I don't know if he's still banging her out in the free world. <laughs> I imagine you escaped from her as well at some point. There was a conclusion <laughs> to that. There there was a conclusion to that that came out after they the show. They got caught, right? I think they both got caught or somebody killed themselves. Yeah, he was like, I'll kill myself. I'll be with this bitch again. Wow. Yeah. When I was in prison, it was different. Yeah. I we think were in it, prison. They <laughs> really did get out of there and he was like, what, what do you think is going to happen now? It's like, like the, I have all the power. It's now. like the Titanic. Like, you think you think Rose is going to keep fucking Jack if they really got off that boat? Yeah. I, no. Know I think so. No. You know why I think so? And I've said this before because Rose is disrespectful ass bitch. I didn't want to call her <laughs> bitch, but I had to. Because Rose motherfucking. Fucked with Jack for literally a week and talked about this nigga for the rest of her life. And she was with her husband for 50 years. That's true. She's a piece of shit. Her That's flashback true. before she dies isn't her husband. It's but that she, one guy. But she ain't gassed up like that until they was on the boat. She wasn't gassed up like that yeah. when she was with her husband in the palaces. That's true. With Birkin bags and Givenchy and That's it. Yeah. doing all the shit and eating calamari. She got on that boat and started wilding out. She did get, no, 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 before she, no, after she got on the boat is my point. After she got she, off the she boat, off she the had boat. 50 years to of keep marriage. Talk. Yeah. And why are you still talking about this same nigga? First of all, if I'm married to you for those 50 years and I keep hearing you tell the story, gather around. I'm like, this bitch starts again. <laughs> this gather around and shit about this nigga Jack. <laughs> but he is dead. I mean, it's not like he's coming back. He was dead. Yeah, he was dead. But So, so she got what? to use it as a card. Yeah, she got to be like, oh, like if you, it's like if you marry a widow. Nah. The best thing that could have happened talk. to Rose was that Jack died. Because if he kept living yeah they get back to shore he like so what's up we gonna keep doing this yeah. and she like you're poor and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i'm not fucking you yeah anymore that was like a trip you know i was wild i was maybe cool. that's a little bit of the strategy of why she didn't let him have any of the door yep. she was like this is gonna get really complicated if we both survive but yes for me i want to fight the nigga though if i can't fight a nigga and you keep mentioning him like i don't want you mentioning this dick that i can't fight yeah like, i can't even show you that i'm manly enough to take down this dick that you keep mentioning like that's that just makes me feel like it's fucked up no Hmm. Don't talk about this dude that I can't fight, fam. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just taking this L every day of my life. You're that's like, true. let me tell you about Jack. <laughs> but that's what? but that's that's white marriage, I feel like. I feel like that's just what like rich white married people do. You might not be wrong. They just talk about their old love that they used to have. Well, he would have done this and, and he goes, Martha, why are you doing like they don't <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they, they hold those cards on each other and just keep going they with the play pain. that game. Yeah, and they, they like stay together for the kids type shit. And then just, oh yeah, you do see that a lot. <laughs> not niggas, not niggas. Not for these kids, <laughs> <laughs> these kids out behind. Stay here for who? Bitch, <laughs> you making me miserable. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> My last words: Don't be like your mother. <laughs> uh, welcome to Wine and Weed. <laughs> oh, hello, welcome. I am one of your hosts, Sterling Stilo Brim, aka that dude, aka S the Beach and the Best of the Breed, aka is that third leg. No, it's just me, aka concerned father, aka Black Mamba. Black Mama, Stevenson, Stylinson, your stylist, stylist, and last but not least, your Uncle Elroy, and with me as always. I'm Chris Reinecker, a.k.a. The Chronic Sewer, a.k.a. Your New Baby Daddy, a.k.a. Speed Bump, a.k.a. Uh, Mustache Maven, a.k.a. Elusive Moose, a.k.a. La La La, yeah. a.k.a. Cooping you get? Someone wanted me to do a throwback <clears throat> one in the comments this week, now I can't remember what it was. Chronosaur? I thought it was Gooping Your Gap. Gooping Your Gap? Oh, sure, then it's Gooping Your Gap. Yeah, I thought it was. And too. on the facts, we got Alana. Hey. It's Alana, and Team Super Baby Cheeks said, a.k.a. Literate Lana, a.k.a. Laughing Lana, 
And there's some more, but I'm going to stick with those two. Arthur and Cocky Baby Cheeks. I was like, damn, okay. No. Yeah, that's your name. I was, was, like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Grown ass cheeks. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we have a very, very special guest uh, um, actor, a producer, a writer, a rapper, a motherfucker who just, I guess, does everything a comic. He does everything for real, for real. My man, Zach Fox. Hello. Appreciate What's you, good? bro. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on. Any AKs? Dope. Uh, AKA that nigga right there. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I couldn't hear it without this chicken right head. There. <laughs> you look in the corner and I'm doing the Dougie. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you don't know about this show, we do on this show is we go over the news each week. We do all of that while we drink a little wine and smoke a little weed. And yeah, and this week we're drinking. We're drinking. That. What, what did we decide on? We Ooh. got both. We're going we gonna to do both. Oh, That's the Rick Ross weird. juice? Yes, yeah, the Rick wild. Ross juice. We got some Rick Ooh. Ross juice, the Bel Air Rose. And Queen Peak, a red blend for your church vibes yeah. on yeah. Sunday morning. Yeah, I need Love some communion. gospel vibes. My communion, yeah. Yeah, get that going. You ever took communion? You have, right? Yeah, well, communion's big in Catholicism. Catholic, it is, right? Yeah. Okay, Y'all started yeah. it, yeah. The yeah. first communion. It's a whole, you oh, can't shit. take it yeah. unless you've gone through your communion. Oh, we had a big church talk a couple Y'all weeks ago. Y'all started it. Niggas made it fun. Niggas did make it fun. Yeah. What? What do you? What's communion for you guys? Y'all was drinking real red wine. Uh, some, no, depends we on drinking Welch's probably Welch's. Grapes. Yeah, Welch's, Welch's and crackers juice. though. If you, it, yeah, you, it depends on what kind of crackers when you got. When you say cracker, are you thinking like communion wafers? No, not the. No, they were like uh, those little, uh, that little bland ass little bullshit. cardboard. Oh yeah. my god, kill me now! Yeah, I nah. took that one time. I hated that shit. Ooh, it's really bad. Yeah, they're like sand dollars. Nigga, we get ritz. Yeah, y'all got ritz. We get you got ritz. We get, club, we get club crackers, fam. I'm from Savannah. One time, they ran out of Ritz, and niggas started breaking up hot dog bun pieces <laughs> into pieces. Because <laughs> they had chili dogs for after service. So they was like, let's just use some of these buns. Hell yeah. That's hilarious. That worked. It worked. Yeah. That's his body. It was still his it body. Was his body. <laughs> it still was his body. I went to a church like that one time when I was a kid where they were church serving like juice instead of wine. And, and I felt like it was cheating. I felt like this is supposed to be painful. Yeah. We're not supposed to enjoy this. Oh, no. We That's enjoyed kind of what, it. What Catholic church is all about is like you're not supposed to enjoy this while you're here. You stand, you sit, you chant, you read, yeah. you feel guilty. What kind of, uh, what part all. of the body do you think um, hot dog bun is? Thigh. <laughs> thigh. Thigh, for thigh, sure, right? For sure, for sure. <laughs> front, sure. front thigh, like, right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Jesus appreciate that a little bit more that you being creative to yeah. figure out what's, what his body is. Because what like, is wow, like okay. the, the the shit y'all was eating was like dead skin. Exactly. That oh, was yeah. like nigga was ash. Like them Catholic niggas be <laughs> y'all be eating uh, Jesus foot skin like yeah, callous shit. Like come on, y'all could pick a better part of the body. <laughs> it's like e- you can get any part, any part. He died for us. <laughs> pick anything. Uh. You don't want to do breast meat? Nothing? <laughs> like, not a rib? I actually th- I think hot dog buns is actually closer to what it would have been in the Last Supper than any of that stuff. They didn't have nothing. It was just bread, right? It was real bread. Yep. Yeah. I got you. On Thank that. you so much. Course, this is my yeah. blood. We it's starting with blood. Huh? It's it shall be wild. given up for you. That it's like we're supposed to be eating his you. body. And yeah, it is what well. it's yeah. super pagan. And they look pagan. at like African, like they're like, oh, that's witchcraft. I was that's just weird. About to but I'm that. like, but white y'all people doing are okay. that? Yeah, this, is, it's pa- the same this thing. is pagan as hell. It's the same thing. They just just market it differently. Yeah. Damn, you trying to say it's witchcraft for sure? But they look at things like they they look at a lot of things in like African culture, like whatever that they're like, oh, this is witchcraft. You guys are praying to this thing, or you're eating this, and you're sacrificing this, or whatever, and it's like, you literally are yeah. convincing yourselves that you're eating, or it's symbolism of eating Jesus' body and drinking his blood. Yeah, but yeah. they're gonna be it's like, yeah, while. but we just symbolize it. They be like, yeah, we don't agree with all of that uh, witchcraft <laughs> and what y'all going on over there in that voodoo. Anyway, so then God killed his son, right. <laughs> and they nailed him to the cross, <laughs> and that's why. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we have to what? eat his body, we, and, then and we, we have to him. drink his blood. Right. Right. Like it is a you little get it? wild. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna run the laws Literally, of this cr- country. <laughs> and, and Christians be Christians be put off by like the most like regular shit. They yeah. be like that astrology. That's yeah, witchcraft. That's that witchcraft. Hey, yeah. I'm a Christian that definitely moved up to it. LA and was like. Can't even get into the zodiac signs. Yeah. I won't do none of that astrology shit. Girls just see me in the club like, "What's your sign?" Nigga, I refused to know my sign for many years. Right. I was like, "Nothing, bitch." The sign of the lower. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck went for me. And then legitimately, I was like, "Yeah, it's not the worst thing, actually." Yeah. It convinced yeah. me of that. I don't know why. 
Yeah, yeah, it's not terrible. It's just it's not like God made it all. Here's what I think about the spirituality versus like Christian, like organized religion. It's like there's rules in place. It's like it comes down after all these generations and shit like that. The spirituality shit be weirding me out because it's like choose your own adventure. Yeah. So it's right. like everybody got their own little like customized mm -hmm. religion. And if I don't fuck with like one part of your shit, LA people be like, well, you need to learn how to do root work and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> shut the fuck up, nigga. Like can't, we all just need to get on one page. Are we going to be Christian or are we going to be nothing? Or are we going to like, I'll pick an organized religion. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and do all this like, Oh, I got this de decal sticker on my religion and my religion hat sideways like this. Like, it's just the propaganda and pushing the shit on niggas that, that niggas don't really like. Because like, if we really all just chose our own religion or spirituality of being like, you know, I'm going to just form my shit for what works for me. Yeah. Then you could like, you know, live in your own space. But still, that's, there's no accountability but that, there. But that to me, <laughs> it's no accountability. And that's not how societies work. If everybody... You ever, nigga, you ever uh, see a, a electric slide and every nigga trying to do his own dance? Yeah. That's not how it works. <laughs> Either we all in one step or we just not going to dance or we're going to do a soul train. Or, or I something. think everybody can dance and do their own little dance and everyone can have a good time and we can have. Not when you're stepping on my matter. shoes, nigga. On some things, uh, on some things. Get a little more space on the dance floor. <laughs> I'm, about to sound real, I'm about to sound real Republican right now. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. I think there's too much liberty. Ooh, sometimes. Okay. I'd be like, some things everybody should just do the same. Sometimes like I don't know if it's religion, but I think some things everybody should just I'll, do the same. I want to know what. What's an example? Give me a great example. There should be no liberty in traffic laws. Besides, like niggas getting parking tickets and shit. I don't want to hear your thoughts on like how fast you should drive or what kind of lights you should blow or stuff like that. But people try to apply like that type of logic to everything in life. I'm like, no, bro. Yeah. Some things we all just got to agree to To me, do that's the because it way. affects the safety of other people. Exactly. So if it's, it's like you do your own thing on the dance floor until you're crashing up and fucking other people's dances up. Yeah. Then it's like, then, you know, like then, okay, you need to dance a little differently. But yeah. Get your own little corner with your own little dance if you need it. Yeah. But don't affect the rest of us with your shitty dancing. You yeah. Know? Yeah. 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 But uh, that's the American way is to be like, nah, I'm, this I'm is the dancer. Our yeah. dance floor now. Well, that's yeah. Good. yeah. That's what we've taught nothing but everyone here in this country is like, hey, we are number one. We are number one. We are what's most important. So, of course, niggas like, I am the dancer. Yeah. Nigga, I'm Omarion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus, <laughs> nigga, nobody wants to see. <laughs> but I believe. <laughs> Literally, Omarion is, uh, he was the, the metaphor for America right now. Man. He yeah. was the metaphor for America. He should have came out and said that. He, he would have won the he, verses. He exploited B2K, which yeah. was uh, Fizz is black people. Uh, Boog is Native Americans. <laughs> I, I never heard uh, this. Okay, I know, it's I'm, my theory. I, Omarion is this. a metaphor for America. I like all, this. all of B2K was the working class. Wait, and, who was who? And, I want to go back now. <laughs> yeah, I, you got to give me what's it's Boog, Fizz, and. Um, Boog, Fizz, and Rasby. And Rasby. Hey. So, yeah, Boog. What I say, Boog you said was? Boog was black people. Boog is black people. I thought Fizz Razzie was. We go. Fizz is Native Americans. Okay. And Raz B is, is Latino people. LGBT? Oh, okay. okay. And, or the LGBT. Either one. Could be we women. Could, all of them are LGBT. Let's be real. <laughs> 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 all of them are women. But Omari I exploited them, took their work, didn't pay them. Uh, didn't credit them for what they did and said that he did all of this. Same yeah. how white people say that they built Damn. this whole country, Damn. but they did it off the back. So Omarion of our is labor. white supremacy. Omarion is doing dude. white supremacy shit. And then when you see it in view, yeah. this nigga can't even do nothing. Yeah. He can't sing. He ain't got no he talent. Allison Ray. Without who built him, he's nothing. Damn, nigga. This, this is amazing. He's wow. nothing I without this analogy. This is, this, <laughs> this is everything I needed. I got a whole New York Times essay. I'm finna drop this. <laughs> B2K is America. It was the Nick. analysis for America right yeah. now. And then you saw it. It's crumbling. Yeah. It's crumbling. It is. If nothing else, you explained to me perfectly as a B2K fan. I was like, <laughs> nigga, I get this. <laughs> this is what I'm for, bro. I'm, <laughs> I want to be a political theorist, but I explain everything in <laughs> R&B. Hey, nigga. Like, that's all R&B. If you do that, like, I imagine, like, what politician would you be basically breeding or raising from you? That'd be a dope-ass motherfucking yeah. politician. The nigga running for president with songs, only yeah, songs, exactly. He, exactly. He, Amazing. like, y'all know about T-Pain. Like, he really... <laughs> I can see it working. He does no picture. I don't do, nigga. 
I could see like if you create enough like like TikTok hits, like being elected president, you know? Yeah, for sure. You, if you create a song out of your political campaign that's catchy enough, listen, I think you could get I was it. Right, I was running right now. Listen, you can like fuck Trump, whatever, but man, that nigga came out and pretty much was like, hey, y'all, all this shit is fake. He did. He did do that. If nothing else, he did that. All of this is fake. Yeah. Just letting y'all know. The rules aren't real. I'll be real with you. Real. Trump nope. was the first nigga who became president that told me I could be president. Yep. And if nothing else, that, that was a lot for me. I, I looked at him and said, damn, you don't have to go to the best schools yep. and get the best grades. And, you could be Trump. You just and have a lot to of use the took, words that you did. And a lot of people take that as like, oh, he told me I could be president. That's why America is so great. And I'm like, no, 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 no. If he's telling me I can be president. We fucked. The nigga who sometimes don't even flush the toilet fully. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> We're fucked. Yeah. We're done for. Oh, <laughs> some things, that's what I'm talking about from my earlier point, some things anybody shouldn't be able to do. So you think being president is one of them? You think certain niggas should have certain qualifications to make them like, all right, you can run versus like, you don't think you could get to the more realness? If you don't know a nigga on your block that you was like, you got ideas. <laughs> You got ideas, nigga. I like it. You got some ideas, man. We're gonna work on your charisma. <laughs> you gotta stop saying bitch, but you got something going. Maybe actually keep saying bitch. Yeah, it could become a thing. It could be a thing. Yeah. Brought me here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think there, there's some shit that it's like you can't get by on charisma. You know what I mean? I don't think you should be able to be a software engineer off charisma or a heart surgeon off charisma. That's true. Or any type of like actual, I don't think a president is an actual thing. Yeah, bro. it's like a preacher. It's, and that's all you need is charisma, nigga. That's all you need is charisma. <laughs> if in any job where you only need charisma, that's a dangerous job. Yeah. Because that means you, I think that's a good. that means you in control of fooling niggas. If your if your whole job entails charisma, but is this not all a scam? Is everything not a fucking scam? Some things are, yeah, most things are scams. I be feeling like these niggas scamming. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Bezos, I'm a hating ass nigga. I look at him, I be like, hard work was a ten percent. This is all about scamming niggas. Yeah, no, it's a scam. I don't know how. It's a scam for sure. But it's all a scam. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. I talked to somebody yesterday who had a congressperson come to their uh, restaurant and they like did not understand the menu. They work in Nobu. They didn't understand. They could not understand the menu. And I'm like, and these are the people making our fucking laws. Like yeah. they can't understand the menu at Nobu, but they're putting together like privacy laws for the internet. Yeah. And they're like 70. Bro, this is the thing. Like all of this shit, it ain't democracy, bro. It, it's you, you telling one nigga to make decisions for hella people. If y'all all gave me y'all DoorDash order right now, just three of y'all, I would fuck that shit up. <laughs> and it's only three niggas here, and I'd have sip wine like twice, and I would fuck it up. So you can't expect people to like actually be able to like delegate for entire cities. Well, of there's people. two. There's like two. There's only y'all would two give me y'all money for DoorDash, right and now? I would just leave because I feel too much pressure. And yeah. that's exactly what politicians do. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what. That's what. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> And they just like take the money and run. Yeah. Well, there's also I feel like there's one section right now that's like, um, I I felt this, so this should be the law. I'm not asking any questions. I'm being strong. And the other side is like, we need to ask every person. Yeah. If they are okay with this, if it, mm. if one small section of a smaller group doesn't think this is okay let's let's spend another 10 years on it yeah, yeah. we gotta be real making about sure it's perfect mm. it's like there's something in the middle there's something we gotta be real about that sure. we gotta be real about that each group has a percentage of people who we just should not listen to <laughs> <laughs> what each group does every group has their own shitty people but but that's okay that's a great point it is and i think mm. that like representation and shit is making that worse <laughs> because my group of people like as far as niggas go, yeah. every nigga that speaks for niggas, I do not agree with. Yeah. I don't like you. And I'm, I didn't I'm get to them. choose why I speak you... for niggas all the time. <laughs> we speak for niggas, but... No, I be doing it. But, like, I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm talking about how, like... Bro, like... The I know whole, I'm wrong half the time, but too. But, like, I'm saying the people that... <laughs> the people that white people pick 
to speak for oh, niggas. Oh, I agree with that. Now, that bothers me. I hate all That's them niggas. That's what bothers me. Oh, he knows I hate them niggas. And he <laughs> not even a nigga. I tell him all the time. All oh, them niggas bother me. <laughs> I'm like, you should not be able to speak. If you, if you wore Toms at any point in your life, I don't want to hear your I agree with you. thoughts Shit, or are, opinions on It's on all blackness. about the Toms. The it's toms. not all about the Toms. It's not, but it's one point. It's, it's one about attribute. the uncles as well. It's one attribute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree with you. I think certain um, black people, white people choose them on purpose. Niggas who, wear, time. niggas who wear Chelsea boots don't speak for me. I used to wear Chelsea boots, fam. But are that's you fine. saying currently or are you saying period? <laughs> I'm, saying if you, I'm saying if you making the decision to never grow out of that. I also want to say this. I don't want to speak for everybody. Me so I'm okay with that. Me neither. You know, I'm only speaking for the other Chelsea boot niggas when I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> if I got with Chelsea boots in that moment, I'm like, these are only for the Chelsea boot niggas. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else I can't speak for right now. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Chelsea boot niggas be trying to speak for, for like everybody. for the trenches. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, uh-uh-uh. Stay over there at Rock Nation Brunch. But you remember when Let Chelsea boot niggas me. became the trenches, though, for like a good two weeks? When? It was niggas in the trenches wearing Chelsea boots. What you talking about? When uh, Floyd died and, and all the Jadeno dressing type niggas was like, no, I, Black Power. <laughs> no, I just feel. No, I just feel like I've, I saw a good like year of hood niggas in Chelsea boots. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we sure. didn't know it was a blur for at least a year. That's a scary blur. Too. It is. That's a crazy scary blur. Which is another. You know, we'll just. That's go a right very in. LA thing too. Like, you think it was? No, I think I saw something back at the crib though too in okay. Chicago. Some niggas on Chelsea boots for sure. Only went home. I was like, this is interesting. Cause that yeah. makes me it always makes me wonder of like where niggas can really be led. Cause we did get led to this country yeah. with just some bullshit. So yeah. where can niggas really be led? Cause I listen to the new Drake shit, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, are niggas gonna be like really dancing? Like niggas. Right, do you right, think right, right. niggas gonna dance or do you think just black people gonna be like, all right, we fuck with this? Or you think they gonna Drake gonna actually get niggas to be a part of Mykonos culture? For a week, <laughs> I, I really can't tell, man. I like when it came out. I, I said the same thing. I was like, I wonder if this really gonna stick with like the hood because, yeah. like, I think time is a fucking circle and shit is going to come back. I don't know if Drake is gonna be the one to bring it back. Yeah, but Atlanta was that for my whole house. entire childhood. It Chicago. was house. It was uh, there was Atlanta jigging. There was like dancing. There was Whoop Rico, Soldier yeah. Boy, like the whole two thousands. Was was sure was niggas that will kill you dancing in tall white tees. One hundred percent. So I don't think that that can't come back. It's just gonna take a lot of like, I don't know, man. Like club culture and shit right now is so stuffy and weird and lame. It is. Niggas just only want to die. Yeah. Niggas are like, yo, we only making music right now for niggas to die. Just and like I'm like, why? And like, Nigga, yeah, this is not the only music we can make. Like, and the girls are having the time of their fucking they lives. They don't care. They had they got F and F, they got Meg the Stallion, they got Cardi B, they everything is, is for true. them to wall out. That in the is club true. Right, and niggas just be Yeah. With a sure. bottle of Luke Belair, like Yeah. Okay, you're gonna make us feel like we was nigging on the like, show. <laughs> nah, I'm, but you know definitely what I'm saying? Like, niggas got in the club though, yeah, for sure. No, for sure. It's like like, man, we gotta start dancing again. Like, we do have to start dancing. I'll be real with you. I think Drake's was a little bit like, oh, I'm gonna tap into these different markets. He did one for Jersey, he did one for Chicago, he did all these different forms of house all over the world that he was like, I'm gonna tap into these different markets. Beyonce's song really does make me move though. Yeah. I'm like, this is like, this yeah. is this feels like, man, black people can really this is a renaissance fucking record right yeah. here. I ain't no niggas was quitting their job. They said niggas was quitting their job because that record. Beyonce said it. What is that? Mean? Beyonce did that. Like you didn't hear? No, but I mean, why do you why do you quit your job? Well, she because said that's, that's, cause the, that's what said, the song is about. And they, and they were inspired. I, I listened yeah. to that. But Beyonce be sending bitches off, though. We got to be real here. She yeah. did make single ladies when she was full on married. And all you hoes was walking around crazy. Bro. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. It was bitches that was like in nursing school listening to Irreplaceable. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw all your shit out. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, we, you live with me. You live with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're in school. <laughs> But Beyonce could give like a non Beyonce she person can. a Beyonce amount of confidence. Yeah, she can. But and people need that sometimes. But there's also that. probably people calling right now, being like, "Hey, I was just listening to Beyonce on Thursday. <laughs> I need my job back. Like, yeah, I, I can sure. deal with this. I need this right now. I was bugging. I, I was bugging. <laughs> I got frustrated. We all get frustrated sometimes. The song is really good. It's but really like, good. You still can't break my soul though. I just need to let you know that I'm gonna come back. But you can't. Yeah. 
Should we do it? Let's, Let's get into it. the news. Uh oh, yeah. Supreme Court overturns Roe versus Wade, doing away with half century of precedent. The Supreme Court on Friday overturned the landmark Roe versus Wade, ruling that guaranteed a constitutional right to abortion, a monumentous break from half century of rulings on one of the nation's most contentious issues. About half the states have already indicated they would move to ban the procedure. The court ruled 6-3 to uphold the Mississippi abortion ban being challenged in the case and a 5-4 to overturn Roe. In the majority opinion, Justice Samuel Alito wrote that the court's decision in Roe sparked a national controversy that has embittered our political culture for half a century. Legal scholars said the decision to overrule Roe is one of the few times the Supreme Court has ever invalidated an earlier decision that declared a constitutional right, and the only time it took away right that had considerable public support. The ruling came in dispute over a 2018 law passed by Mississippi's Republicans-controlled legislator that banned abortions after 15 weeks. The law, which made exceptions for medical emergencies or cases of severe fetal abnormality, but not for rape or incest, was immediately challenged and put on hold by lower courts. It's just crazy to me that, like, these people can make decisions for everybody. Yeah. Because it seems like the common consensus, of course, we live in California, we do live in a bubble, but it feels like the common consensus is that nobody wants this. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, of course. Well, the majority doesn't want The it. majority, yeah. Yeah, yeah but want, yeah, some people so Of course, there it. are some, but I still feel like the decision is being made solely by nine people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. just like we overturning this shit. Yeah, we don't even care about what y'all think about this at all. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, I, it's like when a nigga only bring Trulies to the party. <laughs> what, what does that mean? How is it? You just made that decision for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we all. So I didn't want. <laughs> nigga, I didn't know so I didn't want going. nothing. <laughs> You're not even gonna ask me what I want. Okay, so you just so we all drink a chili then. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. We gave you money for Postmates. Yeah. And you went and bought truly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All of a sudden, it's a whole new thing. Yeah. Nah. Uh, I mean, is there I, anything for us to do though? Like, I mean, I'm actually asking on some real shit, like on some actionable items. Is there anything we can actually do, or are we just like, hey, we're waiting on? The president we elect, the president we elected, or the officials we elected to step in and save us. Is there something that people can actually do to be like, yo? I feel like we gotta just start blowing up politicians' houses, bro. It ain't no, <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no they, in they between. Be up their phones, <laughs> nah, nigga, fuck calling, fuck everything, like, yeah. bro, like everybody, like I was, I was watching this girl's TikTok and she used to work uh, with the Dems in I forgot what city, but she worked like in government or whatever. Yeah. And somebody was like, yeah, like, you got to fuck up the economy. Like, they not really going to listen to none of these protests and all this shit. They not. And she was Facts. like, I guarantee you, Dems, Republicans, they're both trying to make you feel like this is a two-sided thing. But then they get behind doors and it's all about the money and the yeah. power and the control. And nothing that you do or say or yell, you can sit and camp in front of their house. They wait you out. Mm-hmm. They'll wait until you get tired. And then once you not tired and you you... Oh, I'm sleepy. They come and bulldoze the shit that you built, and they like, cool. So no more abortion still. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. They not scared, and that's the problem. Like, because they're comfortable where they are. Yeah, you know, they're inside their house in this analogy. Yeah, and they're just waiting you out, and you're fucking in a tent, you know, or in the street, like, trying, trying in, to get other people to street, organize. We in the streets. I'm trying to give Stilo water because it's 90 degrees outside, so we can keep this protest going, and so. I'm getting you food. And, and they got AC me. going on. Yeah, ain't no AC and shit. Keep binge watching fucking Stranger Things right now, nigga. We're going to get tired. <laughs> We're going to get... Also, I have shit to do. Like, yeah, yeah. I want to go home Everybody and like... Shit to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to go home and, and watch the boys. He's like, I did do. my shit already. That was banned abortion, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you outside. Yeah. Shit. No, for real. That's it. It's and insane. My shit is me keep me staying here. When we're protesting out here in California, I was so mad because, you know, at one point, uh, for whatever reason, like you mm-hmm. said, a nigga they don't flush the toilet all the way. At one, for whatever reason, they let a nigga like me lead the protest for one moment. Yeah. I was like, this is crazy talk. That's why. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. I was doing it, but I also like, this is crazy. I was like, in a moment, though, so I was like, not even realizing that I was like helping lead shit. And I kept trying to get motherfuckers. To go over on Rodeo and and break the windows and shit, <laughs> nigga. I did. I kept being like, we gotta go over there yeah. and break all their shit and fuck their shit up. But they blocked it off right there. They they did, but they we hadn't made the move yet. Because what they do is they send motherfucking 
uh, uh, molds within the whole protest. They'll mm-hmm. like start trying to direct you in different ways. Yeah. Like I kept saying, like, let's go over here. And then you would see somebody random come over, make it right. Yeah. Like, where, where does this nigga come from? Who is this nigga? He like, make it right. You're like, no, you working for is that. Is that a fake mustache <laughs> that guy's wearing? <laughs> no, it's yeah. not. Yeah. It'd be. <laughs> yeah, but so I'm like, go over there. I'm like, because if nothing else, we have to affect their dollar. Like, they, who, why would they give a fuck that we're marching? Right. What? That our like our shoes are wearing down. Like, why would they care that we are on the streets marching? That doesn't fucking matter. Then they go around the traffic. They figure out detours. They figure out whatever it is. But you know how you know how when you're in line to get into the club, and how how political you are when you're in the line to get to the club. Yeah, you're, everybody's very political to get into the line. Oh, I should be, I should get up ahead, or you know maybe I'll let so and so cut. We oh we need more girls here. As soon as you get inside the club, what you do? Fuck them niggas out there. Yeah. You've never been inside of the club and even cared mm. what's going on in the line. Your friends could be in the line. Yeah. And you like, good luck, buddy. <laughs> they could be a nigga that you sent in. And he'd be like, I'm gonna check it out real quick. You're in there like dun, 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 <laughs> listening to Drake. You know how sticky it get. And it's just power. That's that's but that's how power works, bro. Power deletes your ability to be empathetic to the people beneath you. Out it, of sight, out of mind. It's yeah. out of sight, out of mind for these politicians. So that's why I'm saying you gotta get insight. In they fucking mind and start scaring these niggas. And I'm not even saying like, oh, you got to run up and start like harming these niggas. I mean, it could get to that. But like, time has got to have I think, security, right? I think we should start. This is how we should just start. You see a politician in Whole Foods, take that nigga's shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what politician it is because we all know now we've agreed with the fact that every single one of them is on the same type of agenda. Yeah. The Democrats not helping. The Republicans want to take everything that Any you got nigga, away. You pressing councilman? I'm pressing everybody. Every nigga. I'm taking your shoes. He like, I'm just running. I didn't even I don't, give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Because you should, as a politician, you chose a job in which you should be terrified all the time for making the wrong decision and fucking up somebody's life. People about to die now over this yeah. abortion shit. Yeah. You and everybody else involved in making these decisions need to be, you need to go to bed with one eye open. You're compliant in all those days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like, why are y'all going to sleep? Like, me, 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 Because they me, don't care. Because they fuck that. How can I get on TV tomorrow? Th- what they lose? How many people they lose in the pandemic? Five hundred thousand in America. Shit. We yeah. lost over a million. Over a million. Over yeah. a million. Okay, over a million from COVID. Why the fuck would you care? They don't care. Mm-hmm. They, they've never cared. It's just about the dollar, honestly. Like you said, it's just it's always crazy to me. Like, I mean, living healthcare here, is a wonderful example I, of they don't give a fuck. Yeah, like. Uh, we don't have health care in this country. I he just think taxes, crazy taxes too. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. not, I mean, I, I don't, I wasn't ready to go that far, like blow up their homes, but I, I was like this, this, this week made at least me they, like, at it's least broken. they pool. Like somebody this got doo doo in their pool. I think, like beat niggas up. I think Clarence Thomas, he got security. Like if you saw him out in the battle, he was like, I gotta beat this nigga up. I'd be like, I get that. I will whoop Clarence Thomas. Ass. I, yeah, if we can get a celebrity boxing match, I will whoop. I fuck that nigga up. Yeah, for sure. I will beat that nigga light skin. Like I will. <laughs> <laughs> what is he even on right now? Because I feel like he just like not that he hasn't always been here, not that he hasn't always made like crazy ass decisions, but I feel like he been himself. He got a PR or something. He got a new PR. Like I feel like he been pushing his own shit lately. Like he about to make drop- sure they know who was the nigga that said fuck all, fuck all that bullshit. I think Clarence, he about to drop an album. That's why he doing all this shit. Has to. He about to drop some shit. But the way the, the way that he like taunted other things and the decision was like also you gay niggas is next. Gay should yeah, 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 yeah. Too. yeah. Nigga, I don't know. Crazy. Maybe birth control. We could do that too. We could do whatever the fuck we want. Because you see We're this cape bitch now. You see this Come black on. cape bitch. I'm Clarence <laughs> That's Thomas. a robe, Clarence. No, it's a cape now. You heard me. I'd be like, yeah, niggas be like, yeah, vote. I'm like, yeah, man. Harriet Tubman did a whole lot of voting when she freed the fucking slaves. Yeah, she did a whole lot of bargaining with. With slave masters, it's like, no, nah, man, you gotta. Happy I voted. It's it's crazy. It's unprecedented times, and you gotta. We gotta start like getting out of our comfort zone. If shit is gonna change, if everybody gets on the same page, that we're like, we don't care about it changing. I'll just sit here and shut the fuck up. Well, I'm just saying, other countries, like you're saying, politicians are fucking afraid. Like, people, officials are afraid because they know that, like, this shit could go crazy over here at any point. When we see even what they show us, the small bit of what we get in other countries, like, damn, niggas is way more radical than us. What? Niggas is way more about that people shit. People are getting niggas. assassinated. Niggas all types left of shit. and right. Like, like, nigga, what the fuck? Be, nigga? And they the cops are killing like, their leaders. Too. Nigga, yeah. the cops are there to work for you. And when you're like coming after, they're like, okay, all right, retreat. These cops are like, it's wartime, baby. Let's yeah. kick their asses before they can even try to work. And the problem is our fucking car. The difference is in Mexico and shit. They got the cartel. Our cartel is just white men. 
that's it. It's Ku Klux Klan. It's like and that's the niggas the are supposed to be it's helping. Weird, they they just a part the of the cops. same thing. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Our, car, our cartel is uh, off-duty cops. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I don't know who... These are all the same thing. The I thing, don't want to do this. The thing that, like, the principal thing that pisses me off the most where I'm like, this isn't fair. This game is... No one's playing by the rules anymore. Or for me, I'm like, look, there's one team that is not playing by the rules anymore. So the other teams just got to stop playing by the rules, too. Yeah. But you like, joined the team that played by the rules, and you knew that. Yeah, but... Yeah. That was like, the reason you joined the team. You're like, I like these guys. Yeah. They play by the rule. I, I, yeah. You're totally right. But, <laughs> yeah. but like, if you look at the idea of the Supreme Court, why they have lifelong appointments, it's so they could cannot, like... So you don't think you're going to lose your job if you make Mm -hmm. a decision that like isn't in your heart, right? You're apolitical because you're there for life. And now it's not that fucking at all. Like, yeah. yeah. And these people lied under oath. Under oath is like the epitome of the rules. And you are literally the referee. Yeah. And you broke the rules to become the referee. Like the game's fucking over, man. Yeah. This isn't a game anymore. We're no Democrat, Republican, whatever. They made the playing field, bro. Mm-hmm. So you can't get mad when they take the goalpost and they go and yoink it over here, even yeah. though your field goal was right there, and they just move it. They yeah. can always do that because it's their their fucking playing field. So when people sit here and like get mad about it and try to like ah da da, well these are the rules and this is da da da. What are you talking about? The game's evolving. They've always been changing the rules. Yeah, bro. that's what Since I feel about the Democrats. They're the game like, is well, we can't I, do anything. The game is simple. Yeah. The game is called You're I like, win. Yes, you can. Right, right. The game is called I win. And it's like the moment I feel like I couldn't lose, I have to make it so that I'm winning again. Bro, Democrats be playing, they be trying to play chess. And these Republican conservative niggas is playing dodgeball. And it's just two <laughs> different games going on. they like, we hitting you in the face. And they're like, well, I put my <laughs> yeah. bishop on. <laughs> and I'm like, both of y'all got to go. This whole, yeah. the whole shit fucked up. Facts. I ain't voting, nigga. I'm done. I'll I, vote if it's like for some local shit that's extremely important. But when it comes to the whole national shit, I'm like, I voted like for Biden or whatever. But after that, I'm like, I, I voted for who I wanted to win Love Island. That was the last time I voted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They didn't win. <laughs> they didn't win? No. You like called in. Vote you like texted. And that's why voting doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> I, I, I don't like... I just think he should... What The last guy banned people from coming from the Middle East. And yeah. we're just like, I don't like immigrants. We're going to build a wall and put them in cages. And they're like, you can't do that. He's like, we'll start construction. It's like... <laughs> and then he they did. they did. So like, why doesn't this guy just be like, no. Because he white. That's he Abraham the Lincoln same thing. He w- white. was doing the same thing when he... Like, he did the Emancipation Proclamation. They were like, the Supreme Court disagrees. He's like, fuck it. I don't care. It's a law now. Because then let people argue. Let it become an issue. Don't just be like, well, this is a good opportunity to promote the midterm election. Anytime a a president did something good for black people, there was an economic upside to it. For sure. There was an economic upside to then saying, okay, man, let's maybe get rid of this slavery as slavery and switch over to wage slavery. And just let all these niggas be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? So we can keep the dollar going. Or let's keep this, let's do this prison system where yeah. we basically have slavery where we could keep it going over there. So, like what you say about Abraham Lincoln, like, I don't, it ain't no president, in my opinion, that's ever been like, I'm gonna do something right now for the betterment of all people, just no. because. You know what I mean? It's no, just, just saying he Abraham, was breaking the rules. Well, he even stated in his shit. Wanted. He even stated his shit that he didn't necessarily want to break the rules. He was yeah. like, I don't even want to do this shit. Honestly, yeah. it's just gonna help us if we let these niggas out. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say something else. I got high. It's all good. I'm drunk yeah. off the wine. This Welcome to Wine and Weed. Yeah. <laughs> Amazon's Alexa may soon be able to mimic your dead relatives' voices. Why? Bruh. Amazon has <laughs> unveiled a controversial feature that allows Alexa to recreate anyone's voice, even if the individual is no longer living. The tech giant confirmed it was developing the system during its conference Wednesday in Las Vegas. Alexa's senior vice president lighted the feature, highlighted the feature in a demonstration video in which he asked a child, the voice assistant, to read them a bedtime story in their late grandmother's voice. The Amazon team achieved the audio output by referencing just one minute of an individual speech. The clip is then used to create longer audio that sounds nearly identical to the person's voice. Though Amazon didn't say when it plans to roll out the feature to the public, some have already expressed concern about the technology being used for scams or to create false narratives about people. (laughs) Your grandma's back. (laughs) (laughs) Send me that money. I want to see Alexa try to talk 
like my uncle Poppy who did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you, he, that nigga talked like Boomhauer <laughs> off of King of the Hill. He collected remote control PT cruisers and Smurfs. Okay. And you couldn't understand a word he was saying. So I'm kind of like, I'm into it. Okay. You're intrigued at least. Do you like this? Uh, I I didn't until I thought about how fun it would be all the different voices. Bro, we already in hell. Just go ahead and put bells and whistles on it. I don't give we already At first I was thinking about a very like like some Steven Spielberg movie where like you're like the characters are like crying and welling up because they're hearing this voice for the first time. But now it's fun just to be like, hey, what if they said this? Yeah. You, or would they get their personality? Like, would they start going off the handle like our old I mean, relatives might have done? We have AI and shit, like real, real life AI. So I don't know. They might develop it into that where it's like, oh, you could really bring grandma back. You can ask her <laughs> advice and shit about your new boyfriend. Even like, if she gives you bad advice, I don't it know doesn't I, matter. I don't know if I want this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, this is some scary shit. Do you think this is like something at the top, like Jeff Bezos being like, I always want to talk to my grandma again. So I'm doing this because this is so niche. It's like, who asked for this shit? Who was like, yo, bring back the dead? And are they saying that, like, if I ask my Alexa, like, what's the weather today? Grandma would be like, it's cold, baby. You need to work. <laughs> yeah, or nice. is it going to just be, like, the default Alexa response, but in my grandma's voice? Yeah, yeah. Does it talk like that, my grandma? That's scary. Like, Which one do you the, like? I'm going to tell you something. I'm scared if it talked like my grandma, yeah, you, but with white people grammar, that's <laughs> even scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should be able to, because otherwise, if they just pick, that could also go wrong, right? Yeah. You're like, this is super offensive that you picked my If it talked like my grandma you. and it don't say trifling, then it's not <laughs> yeah. real. It's wild because it. it's not just dead people. Like, I could call someone and mimic your voice. Oh, it says that as well? Oh. It's not just dead people. That's like why that people no are more. saying, oh, this is kind of crazy because people can just be scamming people. Like, Oh, uh, hell yeah. Everything. It's not I, just dead I people. I think you should have to prove that that person's dead to put them in the bank of voices that you can use. I don't. <laughs> like a lot of people's voices being used because yeah you could just scam easy so easy. you could easily deep fake you in the future facetiming one of us and being like with your voice hey i need you to do, you, you could tinder swindle her the fuck out of us hey yeah. i need you to transfer this over here i'm in trouble we'd be seeing a facetime of you there's no way we wouldn't know that. That scam probably can exist in like three years. Yeah, yeah. like because the filters are getting so strong. Like yeah. you can really put my space on your shit. Damn. That's crazy. And you put the live voiceover, nothing's gonna be real. No, nah, it's gonna be fucked up. We done. Have We've you been seen done? Everybody I'm just watching. Yeah, this we point, just watch it. This is a movie. <laughs> Everybody like I feel like once you hit like over like maybe like 36, you're immediately fooled by like anything on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Facebook be has fucked my family. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. For many years, the disinformation just goes straight into it just their brain. spreads. Yeah, yeah. So so I get shared so many videos by my like my family all the time, like, and I watch what? it because I watch it because I'd be like, I want to see where they're at in their lives. Like I can place them like Walk mentally. Me through this. Yeah, I'm like, okay, so they got this new video. Let me check it out, and I'll see like if my dad is really on some like. You see the man, uh, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'll be, he'll send me some shit sometimes. I'm like, I'm actually fucking with this. It's a good video, but a lot of times my mom sends me stuff that I'm just like, man, I don't. We live in different worlds, yeah, completely different worlds. Yeah, you like even for me growing up in the Midwest, my parents are like more conservative than me, way more conservative than me. Like, even talking to them about different things, I'd be like, damn, mm -hmm. we just a different. Worlds, fam. So there's an AI yeah. that was created. They're they're developing. So much AI shit. And one of them was that they could basically kind of bankrupt the internet by AI generating so many articles about anything that you would Google that it would essentially like you would never know like what was real and what was false because mm -hmm. they could overlay a fake internet. You ever played Metal Gear Solid 2? <laughs> no. I have, yeah. They predicted all of this shit. If you go back and listen to it, there's one monologue conversation where they literally predicted everything that we in right now and the age of information. And no, like, there's no way. Mount, they did it. That they, they did over it. like that the mountains of information dilute no what truth. the real truth is. A, a, a culture that's completely like cynical and unbased in anything. Idiocracy no just. No well, yeah. Idiocracy predicts a show like Ridiculousness on it. It is insane. <laughs> it is insane. <laughs> it fucks with me. It is insane. It's a full TV show. It's pretty much our show. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, America, shit. You're like, damn, we're here. And it turned out to be true. Yeah. Everything about Terry Crews. 
Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, literally. The, the pre- <laughs> well, Terry Crews as tr- a Trump style yeah, figure for sure. becoming the president is totally what fucking happened. Man. Uh, have you seen the Dolly AI? The yeah. one where you can just whoop. plug in anything. You can plug in anything you want. Wait, what? You can put in like Stilo Brim riding a skateboard in India and it'll try its best and get pretty close. It looks pretty disturbing, like because it's all this pixels and imagery that's like making smudgy. this shit up. But it'll it'll make you on a skateboard. Like yeah, I could put in Stilo Brim in basketball shorts on a skateboard and it'll It'll and you could that. even say in the style of Norman Rockwell, yep. and it'll like paint it like a Norman Rockwell painting. Yes, my it's brother. It's like all this shit is scary. We man. in the end, bro. Yeah, because you know immediately the person that developed that technology is immediately looking at somebody's dick, or a, like yeah, <laughs> Stilo Brim dick out. You're like what? <laughs> Why would you type me like that first? He, they always clothe you afterwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they yeah. start there to <laughs> declothe you first, and then they're like, all right, I did enough with that. I do think most technology was started by a pervert, and then he For was sure. like, and then he was like, oh, this, I guess this other that has other applications. <laughs> Sure. I <laughs> think what that's mean? what the social network is about. Yeah. Kind of. It was a fucking pervert. Yeah. yeah. Hot or not. And they were like, oh, I mean, I guess you could put the news on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this for the news. Real shit. And connection. <laughs> <laughs> You're just horny, bro. <laughs> What'd you get? Woman uses Grubhub order to alert police that she was taken hostage. An alleged kidnapping victim was rescued this week after calling for help through a food delivery app. The incident took place at around 5 a.m. Sunday when the Yonkers-based Chipper Truck Cafe received a Grubhub order for a breakfast sandwich and a burger, but it didn't take long for employees to notice an alarming message under the additional instruction section. Please call the police, the note read. He's going to call me when you deliver. Come with cones, please. Don't make it obvious. Workers immediately called the cafe's owner and asked how they should handle the situation they'd seen the note on the order and they called my husband and said what should we do the co-owners chip check cafe with her husband said he was like call the police can't take any risk better be safe than sorry the order was was to be delivered um, in a neighborhood of Bronx, police arrived at the residence shortly after and found a 24-year-old woman who claimed a man had raped her and was holding her against her will. Authorities then arrested the suspect, identified as 32-year-old Kimoy Royal, at the home. He has since been hit with multiple charges, including unlawful imprisonment, strangulation, rape, as well as criminal sex act and sexual abuse. Um, they called us to think, and blah, blah, blah. On the same day of his arrest, Royal was charged with attempting to rape a second woman at his home on June 15. That victim managed to escape, but it remains unclear why Royal wasn't arrested for that incident. Until what Sunday, I'm so happy that they they called him for sure. I also think like that's the craziest ass, Grubhub commercial. Yeah, you a weird ass kid that like, why, why would you, you let her use phone? Grubhub? You know, you know, you know, do your own order. It's getting <laughs> these apps are frustrating me. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Don't use the Apple Pay on there because you go to my other card. You gotta put my new card. <laughs> Wait, so. But it, it's another example of bro. Cops don't do nothing. Yeah, they just show up. But like, yeah. nigga, Grubhub did that. They did. Grubhub in the restaurant. Grubhub, like, the restaurant, and the girl did all. Of he it. raped someone else a couple days before and wasn't arrested. Yeah, or how they see, rapes. But like, how they? Yeah, how they like know he raped somebody else and was like, all right. Attempted because the, the oh, second woman attempted, called the because it's attempted fucking attempted because he didn't get away. it done. She put it. He's in the, not in prison, and she put it in the Grubhub notes. No, no, okay, so yeah, she special put him in the instructions. special instructions. But <laughs> what, what if the same, guy, the same if? guy a couple days before was almost arrested, was charged with attempting rape for a second woman who escaped, but he wasn't arrested. He was just charged. What so the then he fuck went does that even mean? And raped somebody else and So it took her. the special instructions in the, the Grubhub Hub. app to put. This, this man, over. yeah, not yeah. somebody accusing him yeah, of, of rape. actual rape. Yeah. No, I, I think it took. I guess this is some. It can't be a fucking law. I don't know. I'm asking. I, I guess it took him actually completing the rape to fucking get arrested because it's attempted rape. They let him go because he just attempted because he, well, didn't get he it got good. arrested in the middle of it. Yeah, in yeah. a sense because he was imprisoning her and he had already mm. raped her. No, I'm saying no, no. He had attempted two days before. Yeah, what is that? Somebody, how do you attempt and you're not in jail? So they're like, he didn't complete it. Yeah, uh, yeah. So like, I guess he's got to go home. Let him like, out there. That's let my him... point. I'm asking like, I don't know. Is attempted rape not enough to lock a nigga up? I don't. I, I feel like it should be. It should definitely should be, but I'm never surprised by nothing. Like it is true with like the cops in twelve and the laws. Like man, Grubhub did more work than y'all. Grubhub did because y'all let the nigga go two days before. 
And Grubhub was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be locked away. Why am I paying taxes for you niggas? Just give my money to Grubhub. That's crazy. At this point. Damn. I'm mad at the police. <laughs> I'm always mad at the dude. It's always funny how so many like articles end with like, well, yeah, because the police is a gang. Yeah. Or, like the, or they just an, didn't do their job. We have right. another one on here that's about the a guy. You do that one? Yeah. I, I but think no, it's, not that being a gang, but it's just they're bad at their jobs. Like, that's just what it is. Oh, yeah. Well, this one's a their gang, but you're yeah. right. Yeah. There's just them always being like, most articles when we cover the police is. Normally, us ending it being like, damn, the police could have solved that, but instead, they somehow enhanced it. <laughs> they somehow made it fucking way crazier. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They job, it, their job is not to fix none of this or like protect nobody. That's why rapists be getting away and shit. Like, it's not the police job to do that. It's not in their job description. Hmm. Like, it says protect and serve, but like, that's not vague as hell. You see the shit with, uh, uh, how do you pronounce it? Uvalde in Texas, yeah. mm-hmm. like that. After that, that was crazy. That was nobody. Should I don't ever, understand if why that wouldn't be the police's job, though. It's not their job. It literally isn't in a job description, bro. To go really? to save kids that's getting shot is not in a policeman's job description. Their job description is to like just protect power and protect property and shit. Like they not here to like. Oh, a nigga is in a tree. Let's get the nigga down from the. No, they probably put him up there in the first place. But then we shit. paying them niggas for that. In our heads, we paying. It's like it's like hiring a nigga who maybe y'all didn't go over again mm-hmm. and again what his actual description was. But you know what the fuck I think I'm paying you for. Mm-hmm. If nothing else, you take my money and you know I believe, nigga. If we need a superhero, we don't have one. Yeah. I believe you're the closest thing. Yeah. You niggas went in the school. First of all, certain police officers went to school to get their kids, right? Just to get their kids, right? Got their kids and then Got dipped. their kids, then dipped. Then others were in the school for- With assault like rifles. 30. There was cops in the school with assault rifles. And they on the same hallway while the dude is in there killing kids. And they over there like, all right. Uh, shh, shh, don't hey. let him know we in here. <laughs> Like literally like not doing nothing. And now the uh, Uvalde, they about to tear down the school. Yeah, just, I saw that. They're just gonna gonna demolish tear, it. Yeah. They're just gonna demolish send it. Send nobody back to that fucking school. Which made me think in that moment, we've been sending kids back to them schools. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck me up, man. Sandy, Sandy Hook. Like, it's we're been gonna kids demolish that shit. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And then I was like, oh, Sandy Hook and Columbine, yeah. everything. Them niggas went back to that school and they were like, we just gotta try to push through do, all the do PTSD geometry, in the halls. I guess. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it feel the, stuffy in here? The kids and the teachers. <laughs> it's weird today. Huh? The kids and the teachers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking about teachers. Some of them probably transfer schools. But then even being the new teacher that comes in and being like knowing what fucking happened in this classroom yeah. 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 would be really You strange. showing up and knowing your how gun collection? You, bro, it's like it's literally the whole thing right in front of you. They gave all the cops hella money in Uvalde. The police department made like... Eighty mm-hmm. percent of the fucking budget in mm-hmm. the school that got shut up had no fucking budget, and the thing that they gave all that budget to, all it had to do was protect this thing from getting shot up, and they was just outside like. Do you see that they crazy. didn't even try the door handles or something like that? Because yeah. they assumed that it was locked, and so they were waiting for like. Yeah. If I was a killer, to... I would lock the door. Like, what the fuck kind of like nigga? What the cops was outside it. like? Hey, nigga, you heard that new Kendrick? Like, they was not <laughs> trying to even focus on that. I just feel like the. The personality flaw that puts a cop into that position, I thought would at least come into play there where they're like, I'm really powerful. And I am now, you know, the the same thing that makes that cop a dick is maybe at least an advantage in that situation. Let's go in and be the hero. And I can't believe mm. that none of them stepped up. No, because people th- they think were like detaining that. They're just cowards cops. at They were that detaining point. other cops that went in trying to get their own kids. They ended up detaining those officers and taking away their guns and stuff. And what happened? That one that one like Border Patrol guy like and knew and other guys kid. and was like, hey, competent people, come with me. This is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And he was on a hunt for his daughter, but then he kept going, I mm-hmm. think. Yeah. He, He's the one who killed him, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's I thought there would be at least one person 
Uh, no man, why that. are we always trying to act shocked that these niggas ain't good at their job? They just yeah. not they good. They fuck up all the time. I saw some clip. My dad, because speaking of the devil, my dad sent me some clip a couple days ago. This dude was explaining like the police and just. At the end of the day, the police are always a difference between something being de-escalated and not. Mm -hmm. Like they're always just the difference. It's always like the difference between something going over peacefully and not as the police showing up. And them, and it just it just is. I guess stats at the end of the day, them niggas ain't good at their jobs. If every time you showing up, it's escalating and situations get worse, it would say to me that we we should figure out some fucking thing here, some I way. I can't think of a crime I ever saw go down that the police stopped from happening. Yeah, no. You can't name one. A crime that the police stopped, like put a stop to. They'll show up at some shit. Yeah. And they're like, hey, you got to go. Hey, time out for you and time out for this guy. But they don't stop nothing. Yeah. Even when they in the presence of you. So I, would, I don't know. I think we just need to make Grubhub the new fucking uh, <laughs> <laughs> police force. Law enforcement on an app. Just, yeah, just put put it in the special instructions, dude. Yeah, just it put is, a big tip it, on it. It's kind of dumb <laughs> that 911 doesn't have an app by now, though. There's like nobody thinking forward mm -hmm. in the whole... I, I'm surprised that there isn't a group of people in like their 20s and 30s who could kind of be like founding fathers of like the next section. If if of one of my this. loved ones went missing right now, like and they were in LA, 911 is the last thing on my mind to keep it a buck with you. Or if something really like bad was going down, I probably wouldn't call them. Like, yeah, I don't see how they would make it. I just watched you not save children, nigga. Last time I called 911 for anything, legitimately they came and I was in handcuffs in like 15 minutes. What? Yeah. And then get me out of them. But like, yeah. You know, I, me constantly saying, I called you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the person who called. I'm the person who's trying to work with you to figure out this shit. Same and team, nigga. I'm same in team. Handcuffs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. And that shit be crazy too, nigga. I was. You in that shit, you like, this shit is insane. Niggas has got you pressed against some shit. You like, what the fuck is, what is even going on? Like, mm -hmm. they're just so bad at their jobs. Honestly. But that's why I be trying to tell, I be trying to tell white folks, bro. Eventually it's going to fall in, in, in y'all lap too, because everything that they did with slavery, everything they do in the prisons, everything they do in the hood, they do that as practice. <laughs> They yeah. practice a lot of that stuff on niggas. So when white people start wilding out about Supreme Court decisions and shit like that, they like, you know, you could get this work too, right? Like, this is still a, a class division thing where the cop is standing in between the politicians and you. And if you trying to go over there, you can get shot in the face. I saw a white girl lose an eye in the George Floyd pro mm -hmm. protest. Yeah. But she was defending niggas. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but they don't... They like, <laughs> Yeah, they don't care. They don't give a fuck. You're a nigga low. Yeah. White supremacy. You're not supreme. You over there. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, eventually, man, all this shit is going to start like getting pieced out more and more where people are like, oh, they really ain't for nothing good. Yeah. The only police officer, I guess, that stopped or even helped stop the fucking Capitol riots was the nigga. <laughs> was a black man. Everybody else was on the other side. They was like, "Nigga, we took off work today to do this." And he was <laughs> just talking. Uh, and, and honest, to keep it real with you. Guy. He was probably just like, "You niggas being too loud. Y'all gotta chill." <laughs> <laughs> I told you y'all was cool to be here, but then y'all doing you too being much. too loud. Like you doing too much. I ain't gonna die for this job. I told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but what y'all ain't gonna do is fuck up my floor. <laughs> I think somebody stepped on that nigga's shoe, and he was like, "All right, <laughs> <laughs> this got to stop." Damn, the wine Damn. got me feeling too deep on Sunday. You got a silly story? Mm -hmm. Florida teens break into $8 million home to throw party. Florida police are actively searching for a group of teenagers who's broken into an $8 million home to throw a party that they later posted evidence of on social media. Um, the videos shared show an open house party that teens illegally hosted in the home without the owner's knowledge. Approximately 200 people attended the party, and videos shared show the teens listening to music, posing, posing with high-value items, and even throwing a boxing match. Niggas, um, wow. Yeah, Project X. 
that was yeah. but it was a full yeah but like Project also Earth. it it what do you mean open house party is it like they were they also trying to sell the house the house no, in the no, market they they're like eight million dollar house no, no. five bedrooms <laughs> <laughs> room. I, think it's open, bedroom. I think it's an open house party it's not an open house not open party house. they broke uh, into the house to throw a party okay I got and it. they, I got it. they yeah. just invited anybody i thought this nigga was looking for yeah, buyers <laughs> man what do we know what how they broke into the house was it like they were on vacation was it like a Unoccupied house. It doesn't house. say how they broke into the house, no. But um, if it was an unoccupied house, I respect that. Walking into a random house and throwing a party in there. Squatters' rights. Yeah, sure. You fucking with that? I like they that. They throwing expensive shit around. Why are you like that? Oh, but if it's somebody's house that they like broke into to throw a party, I don't like it that. It don't fucking matter either way. This is wrong, white people. I forgot there was a shit Nigga, you know it ain't yours, nigga. <laughs> At the end of the day, why do you feel the right to be like, I oh, like I don't, that. I don't think I like they to should walk not in get the in trouble. house and say, fuck him. Fuck the man that bought this. What man? Who you think are you pissing off? It's like, I'd be pissed as fuck if I came to my house and some kids <laughs> tore my shit up. I'd be like, Wait, you saying if it was abandoned or I, if nobody lived there? I, in my mind, because you said open house, I imagine that somebody was like, had like this place dressed, but like they were trying to sell it. Uh -huh. And yeah. some teenagers got in there and threw party in there i don't like they broke things but if they just threw a party uh, uh i'm kind of like that's fun <laughs> they put a whole boxing match in that bitch a boxing match is intense and then they it makes it all up. of a sudden feel like these people are a little aggressive they're like, are they big youtubers i feel like you would have gone to this party you sure. definitely would have gone <laughs> that's why you would have attended that. this party <laughs> he was so sure. weed at this party for yeah, sure yeah, yeah yeah no that sounds fun i mean there used to be like as houses were built, we would occasionally like try to get in those houses and kind See, of like this party some in those white houses. privilege, Chris. You don't yeah, realize that, yeah. this some yeah. white privilege because for, number one, I didn't even know where I could find an eight million. This nigga house. just said, I mean, well, I didn't it, have it was eight, a home invasion, but I mean, if you just keep house. it down. <laughs> but even but any but any house though, it's like for me, if because I'm thinking when I'm thinking about a luxury house, even if it's not eight million, mm. if it's a luxury house, I'm only thinking about like Oak Park being on the west side of Chicago. It's a white community. If I wanted to go over there and I found a house that was abandoned, I'm still thinking if I go in it, they're killing me, nigga. Yeah. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm literally dead. I'm like, they find me in this house in any way, shape, or form. Those kids are just like they shut down our party, haters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I die. If they yeah. find me at this fucking house in Oak Park or in Chicago, that I'm like, yeah, I'm in a million dollar house and I just broke in this bitch. What? It looks like it's a pretty diverse group of kids, though. I well, it's in Florida, that. though, right? It's in Florida, yeah. Yeah, you Florida. Know. Like, yeah, it's it could a pretty be, yeah. diverse We know it. We know it. Oh, that that's is. the boxing match it's right the there? the boxing match. Who fighting? <laughs> Damn, this dude looks fun. Oh, they do have gloves on. I'm not the fucking with it. The boxing match is in the middle of the living room, and I imagine the boxing match outside. That shit do look fun. I don't... <laughs> like Wait, I can't real. see it. Can you, it oh, doesn't just look like somebody's house. Like they broke into somebody's house. Yeah. I don't think it's my scenario. You think it's somebody's yeah, just it's, regular that's somebody's house? crib? I think it's just somebody's house. Someone's they broke house. it through a party, yeah. and that is very. That's aggressive. what we gotta start doing at senators' cribs, though. That's what I'm saying. What well, would the right idea? If it was a senator, you'd support it. I would support it fully. If that was the governor of Florida house, go in there, Project Exit up, nigga. That's that's a great form of protest. Put a pulse. That's a beautiful form of protest. Breaking in someone's Wait, house and throw a huge party. It's scary, but you just party. Yeah, yeah, there's not. It's but not fuck like up weed. his property. Yeah, <laughs> play Drake in his house. You know, Clarence not the new crazy. Drake, the older Drake. No, the new one. The new one. Yeah. That, new will make, that will make you, you want to fuck like, things up. I thought make you one will make you want to dance, and the other one will make you want to like. Man, like I, gunshots. I, nigga, I like, drifted boom. my Tesla to you sticky. Oh, Drake got gunshots. I think I feel like the last Drake thing that came out was like pretty like hard, and this one's all like dancey and fun. That's crazy. But That's you know Drake what? Drake would love to hear you say that. House music is gay music, and gay niggas the only people who did Stonewall. They did, they did that shit. You know, what house music ain't only gay niggas music. It ain't only gay niggas, but come on, bro. They, Chicago used to house it up. Chicago, Detroit, Baltimore, but, Jersey, but. Yeah, let's keep a lot it of real. gay niggas living all in places. Huh? Gay niggas and black women was, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like Frankie Knuckles, a gangster. No, nah, but, like, but I think that's why I like Beyonce record more because it is it's, it's more gay, but it's also like pure. You like this shit. Like you feel yeah. like Drake was visiting real quick. And he was like, let me knock these verses out. Yeah, and he's Drake and he's was in Drake was Beyonce very much was so there. like he was talking about Ooh, himself. Uh -huh. He was talking about his life. This kid has five championship rings on. Whose house was this? Who? Are these not like championship rings? 
This not the wait. Who oh, they like kind of like storm the capital. Yeah. Too, Whose house is this? That's kind of what know. the storm the capital guys did. You just do a party. Yeah, I tried they, to do it. They I mean, oh. I don't, I'm not trying to defend them. Those guys on this. But, but, but shout to yeah, Brad. They just do a party and <laughs> took a shit. Shout to Daryl. <laughs> you know that my nigga. boys. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I tried to not supporting it. But uh, <laughs> Carl, see you later, next dude. week's host. See you at the pool party. <laughs> Monkey yeah. dressed in bulletproof vest and camouflage jacket found Wait, dead stop, following cartel stop. shooter. Stop. You got to <laughs> walk that all the way. Did you say monkey? Monkey dressed in bulletproof vest and camouflage jacket found dead following cartel shootout in Mexico. A cartel shootout in Mexico resulted in the death of 11 gang members as well as a spider monkey dressed in a tiny bulletproof, vet, bulletproof vest, camouflage jacket, and diaper. The monkey was found lying across the chest of a dead gunman believed to be his owner. The monkey belonged to a man with ties to Mexico's La Familia Maquiana cartel. While the owner died from several gunshot wounds, the monkey's cause of death remains a mystery, with an autopsy set to be performed by a veterinarian. Poisoned me. Of the 11 individuals killed, 10 were confirmed dead in the aftermath of the shootout. In the town of Texaclentia. Any of bad banana, bitch. <laughs> Anybody can get it, nigga. Even a monkey. <laughs> That's a Drakey O'Leary. <laughs> R.I.P. Anybody nigga. can get it, nigga. Even a monkey. <laughs> nigga, the, mm. the monkey had a bulletproof vest a on. Bulletproof he didn't vest. get shot, though? No, they don't know the cause of death. They got that nigga. They got too close to him. Uh, like, I think he just got he's scared. scared. He yeah, probably got scared. You think he just died attack. from getting scared? No, I think he gave him a bad banana. All them choppers sure. start, chop start busting in monkey size. And his owner dies? God damn. <laughs> Nigga, you probably been through this a you couple like, times. Just, it ain't the first time you heard some shit. They, they're putting you in a bulletproof vest to start the day each day. Nigga, you know what time it is at this point. Monkeys are smart. Maybe in the hey. beginning, that monkey was like, this is crazy. Nah, but by bro. the time that monkey was with that owner for like, what, 10 years? 11 years? It doesn't say. Mm. I don't know. It don't say, it bro. That was, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You giving this monkey too much credit. That was a new monkey. That could be his first shootout. That was his first shootout. <laughs> hey, that monkey was scared to slide. And that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we doing what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We spending the... He's like, this he is a real everybody? Life, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It was like, it's time to go, monkey. A bulletproof vest, though? Like, first of all, that means you got a customized vest for the monkey. That's, like, crazy. You know? So it couldn't have been his first shootout, fam. Because ain't no baby. They might, have been, no, no, they might have been preparing him, and it was his first shootout. I he think it's like, the first one. one. It's a real vest? Well, maybe he just died from a heart attack of, like, you watch the person you love the most, your you owner, yeah. die. That's you like, yo, that's fucking sad as you fuck. You think that that was his first monkey, or you think that he's had several monkeys and the bulletproof vest just gets passed? Yes. I think oh. I think he's definitely leaving. I think he's leaving Dark. his money to the <laughs> other monkey that was at home. At that. Yeah, that monkey set them up. He got a couple mm. monkeys. That was just one monkey that I was cartel? with. I think this had all this had already happened, which made I think that think monkey was from a good neighborhood. Had good parents and just got caught up <laughs> the wrong people wrong with the wrong fuck <laughs> with the wrong circus. <laughs> the wrong that, crowd. Mon that monkey was acting out of character. Yeah, how you even get selected yeah. as the monkey? Like, what, what was you doing that he went and picked the monkey? He's like, the, this is the one for is sure. Is the cartel doing put ons on monkeys? Like, yeah. we got to run 30 Each seconds. Cartel it's like a whole monkeys. family of monkeys years and the years monkeys beat their ass down. to put them on. Yeah. Oh, you going that route? See, yeah, I was yeah. going more like, you know, his grandpa had a monkey. Oh, you get touched. And yeah, you, you, yeah, just, you get yeah, touched. Okay, they okay. blessed and blessed as they go down the line. Got like, it. I knew yo, the grandfather monkey. You <laughs> gotta get. You gotta be a made monkey. You gotta be a made monkey <laughs> for sure. <laughs> The tiny vest is what's killing me. Is, I keep seeing it. It's, it's, so, so it's such a gruesome crime, but there's something so adorable. But in they the didn't shoot the monkey. That, no, which is crazy. No, just all the like. They were like, like I, they said, a, a little monkey <laughs> with a bulletproof vest, and I was like, oh, this is so cute. And then she was like, twelve people died, eight of them shot, to, and I was like, oh my god. This is still adorable. I think his little cashew size heart just blew it up probably straight did. in his That's chest. That's crazy. He heard that chopper go off. It was like, uh -uh. what kind of monkey was he? Do we know? A spider monkey. Oh, he's a spider monkey. Oh yeah, he Aww. was. Oh, he he wasn't built for this. Hey, God bless. He in heaven, bro. Yeah, he gotta be in <laughs> heaven. Yeah, or maybe yeah. he did some dark shit. We don't know what the fuck he did. He could. That monkey could have been a part of some crazy yeah. shit. Anything that you need to do with, like, you, like, not a monkey small enough to get this done. Nigga. They doing some real fucked Torture. up shit with the Rip monkey. Rip your dick off. Yeah. He's like, no, I can do it myself, but no, I'm going to watch my monkey do it instead. Hey, monkey. monkey got 12 dicks on him. You know, uh, monkey's strong as shit. Strong as shit. Hey, monkey, go scalp him. Oh. Monkey could just tear your shit off. <laughs> yeah, crazy, nigga. <laughs> See what you thinking. So you think that monkey was really fucked up? 
That you monkey was that? on some shit. Yeah. Yeah. You think the monkey was also doing like Ocean's Eleven style shit where he like went in small spots? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They was putting them in vents. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Having yeah. them drop down, bite a nigga face. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going missions. <laughs> crazy ass missions. Going it, crazy. This is the one time like they caught up to him. That was a diehard monkey. For oh, well. sure. Oh, they also could have poisoned the monkey beforehand in order to not have him foil the shootout plan. Oh. You, know? they oh. Think, you think the monkey was going to snitch? <laughs> yeah. No, they, the monkey they, didn't even get shot, though. That is a little weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, for yeah. me, it's like the monkey could be a suspect. Like, how you didn't get shot at all? 12 people die? That's a lot of motherfuckers got shot. How you didn't get shot at all, fam? Yeah. You that small, is kind of suspicious. Like, you're not if, that small. If I killed some cartel fucking leader, I'm getting I'm rid of everything. I'm that nigga, and I'm making sure I'm popping that monkey too, yeah, nigga. I don't care what it Warrior is. Taking that time. monkey. Giraffe nigga, yeah, I'm that killing monkey everything. Mind now, and I'm making him, I'm torturing him, but now he worked for me. Yeah. Until one day he rip your fucking face off. Yeah. Damn, Revenge. this is a great movie. Yeah, it is. That's a great movie. It is. Who do you cast as the monkey? Is as it like the a monkey? Pixar thing? <laughs> is it a Pixar <laughs> movie, but it's just violent? It's <laughs> niggas violent getting shot? Fuck. <laughs> The first third is like in the, you know, like in the jungle around where they are. It's like super spider monkey origin story. Then it just goes totally different yeah, direction. Yeah, damn, who got to play that monkey? Who got a monkey voice? <laughs> and how did it become spider monkeys? Was the first one bit by a spider? I think it's because of they, their agility. Yeah, that they but that's call them lazy. Spider. I don't like that. You want it to actually be. be yeah, I like those kind of stories. <laughs> you like the spider got bit. The monkey got Typical, bit by a spider. I like it. Yeah. You want a Peter Parker monkey? Peter Parker monkey. Yeah. I lo- I love when uh, uh I love when niggas reach exotic animal level rich. rich yeah. Man. Yeah. I hate when you see a nigga who's not doing that well with an exotic animal. Yeah. You like fam? Now you shouldn't have that iguana. You what? shouldn't be the iguana man. Why nigga? you got this baby giraffe on the south side? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how much thing a giraffe cost? <laughs> I mean, nigga, I just was black sh- market giraffe. Nigga, I was shocked that Tiger King that they running for twenty five hundred. Tigers running for twenty five hundred. That's not that much. That's nothing. That's nothing. Yeah, and that's like a thousand dollars. I think a week or maybe even more to feed it. I think a okay. thousand a week. Yeah, to feed it. Does that go up when the tiger gets big though, or it's no, always just for the meat? The nigga from Tiger King, he was getting his meat from Walmart. Wow. Yeah, and after they was like, yeah, it was like an old and it would expire, they about to throw it out. He would stop the niggas and be like, no, no, no. Wow. I'm about this. Fifty dollars. Legit was feeding them. They was they was living. Yeah. But it wasn't good meat. What's your uh exotic animal you gonna go for? Oh shit. I don't know, man. Like, I think a wolf would be cool. Yeah. I think it'd be cool just because like I know dogs still operate like they need you. Mm-hmm. So part of me would feel like the wolf would always feel like he needed me. Cats don't need you, and that scares me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So even though I would want to get a tiger or a lion, I would know one day yeah. they could just have enough. Yeah. We had an article last week of 20 cats eating their owner. Dogs is a little bit more loyal. A little more loyal, you know what I'm he saying? He's going to wait till you're dead to, to start nibbling. Yeah, and that's fine. And that's cool. And that's fair. Because I don't give a fuck yeah. at the end of the day. Like what? I want yeah. you to have me. Yeah. <laughs> you're my dog. This is my body. Yeah. This is my blood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what type of we said. Uh, I said, what exotic animal would you start collecting <laughs> if you had the money and the space? Yeah. Oh wow. I because I I went to snakes, but I don't think I'm a snake guy. Who are snake guys? Um, Very specific. They wear vests. Yeah. They do Very wear vests. They all wear vests and yeah. extremely baggy <laughs> pants. Yeah. With hella pockets. Them jankos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, like kind of like lower neck tattoos. What's an animal that's like that? You ain't. Swanky though, I don't, I don't like because every time a nigga start collecting animals, oh, oh y'all yeah, got snakes or I got peacocks or I got tigers. Like I want the most like, like hamsters. I, if something. I could have two hundred thousand hamsters, <laughs> two hundred thousand, like a stupid amount of ferrets. Oh, I don't. Like a disgusting I, you ever amount been to somebody's house that has a ferret? It's though? disgusting. It's very yeah, strange. Yeah. But I would have a ferret like house. A you know, oh, I'm right, talking about we rich. Money and yeah. space. I don't yeah. trust people with ferrets. You just go to like your stables of chinchillas, mm-hmm. and you're like, you pet them all, yep. and you're like, check out all these chinchillas. Yeah. If you get a ferret or a gerbil, I think you be like playing with your butt too much and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think that you then let ferrets go. You know, they let ferrets go up their asses and stuff. So just off a nigga having a gerbil, you like. 
that nigga is into some shit. He's into some butt stuff. Yeah, for sure. Just off the gerbil if possession. If you're a grown person with a gerbil with no kids, you into some shit. <laughs> There's no child around with this gerbil. You're a fucking pervert. You're a pervert for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never walked into a grown man's house and been like, oh, nigga, nice gerbil. Not- <laughs> <laughs> I have 200,000 of them out back. Nice. You're like, oh, yeah, you're, you're fucking sick. What sicko. nigga, you doing some weird shit around here? I'm, call- it- I'm calling Grubhub on that nigga. <laughs> Do I also have, like a, sta- I also have like a staff who takes care of them, right? The gerbils? Yeah. Like, of whatever animal this yeah. is. This has to, be, oh, it has to be exotic. You can't yeah. take care of Because I would fuck with cows. Like, I would like to have cows. So you're just a farmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, maybe. I don't really want to live farmer life. But you just but want I like the cows? idea. I don't know. I think cows are cool. If yeah. I could just look out in the backyard and be like, some cows. Just yeah, but like, what do cows even do that you like? Cows are cool. Oh, they're kind of like just big like little puppies. I guess you know they, they are nice. They they, they nice, also like, like give what you the milk. Fuck do they do. And you pick them couple to come over here, be steak. But the rest of them, <laughs> be steak. You be just ste- kill be them. steak real quick. Yeah. But the rest of them, they just pets. That's kind of nice. But they're not nice. doing shit, though. But they're I so nice. I think my nice. pets at least like do something. Like I could at least be like, that's they crazy. They got milk. Like, man, they ain't doing shit. You just like generating milk. That's cool. We're not supposed to drink that shit. You need some sort of performance. Out yeah, of- like Nucky chases shadows. That shit's insane. Yeah. I get to watch it at all times. Yeah. So what are our options? We could get like a tiger, but nah, that's kind of really cool. That it's got to be all, a monkey, a, a, a bro. Off the chart animal. Monkey, monkey is kind of typical. The, it's yeah, typical. I, I was trying not to go monkey because we were just talking about monkeys. Yeah. But I think also monkeys might back be the to coolest. the germ, the gerbil point. If you got a monkey, first nigga I'm associating you with is Michael Jackson. Mm. I have three and Michael Jackson. Know what that nigga was doing. I have three Michael Jackson bear bricks over here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't have a monkey though. Michael Jackson. Yeah, draw a line somewhere. Michael Jackson. And here, this is the thing. Goes back to the cartel story. Monkeys are what you train them to kind of do. You could train a monkey to be on that on that fuck shit. And, yeah, and to slide. Michael had that monkey going around the corner to check if anybody was coming, so he could. That is not true. That is true. <laughs> it is true. You think Bubbles was a lookout, nigga? Bubble was a lookout. No, nah, yes, he wasn't a tr- lookout. Fuck Bubbles. Well, how long did he even have? Wow, Bubbles. you think it, Bubbles was complicit? You think Bubbles, Bubbles was complicit in child abuse. Shit? Yes. You think he knows shit? Bubbles was looking. Was, he wasn't complicit. He was like part of it. He was like an accomplice. But I th- think he was complicit where he was making sure nobody was walking around. And if somebody was walking around, he would give a little ah uh-uh. ah. And <laughs> I will throw out every, the, fact, the FBI investigated Michael Jackson and said that they never found anything on him. I just think he was weird as shit. I disagree. I I, I, I disagree. know this is a, a black person living in a space that I like to live in. This is a thing that we, yeah, that, we that black people we, for we sure. argue on. I'll tell you, I think Michael I Jackson. I am on the side that that nigga did that. I think Michael Jackson, I think number one, if you're a lawyer and you already have the evidence of Michael Jackson hanging out with kids, it's enough for me to take him down. Yeah. But I also, I'm like, yo. I think Michael Jackson was just fucking weird. I think he did a whole bunch of weird shit. I think he did not live a weird fucking life. I think nothing about him was normal. And that he had a very weird yeah. reality. Yeah. I, in the same breath, I don't think that he was penetrating. I think, sure. I think, okay. I think that he, whatever it was, was still too much. Yeah. I can agree with that. I yeah, can say yeah. I'm not down for this. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know if Michael Jackson was actually penetrating. I think he Horses was blowing I think, I think he was fucking with them kids. <laughs> I think Bubbles was complicit. I think the giraffes on Neverland Ranch was okay, complicit. The goats. Everybody was a part of an elaborate knew. schematic. They knew. You guide the kid from here. He has 20 minutes with him here. Then a maid comes this way and then Bubbles makes a noise. So you stop doing it and you come over here. It was a network of fuck shit. Yeah. Autumn animals need to be made into burgers immediately if they wow. still alive. What fuck did he Autumn really do? Wow. do- Fuck all them. Do animals. you really think it was an elaborate, yes. like an elaborate plan? Yes. With the main purpose, of, yep. I'm somewhere in between. I don't think it was an elaborate plan to molest kids. I think that there are plenty of kids who went to Neverland Ranch and just had a nice time, and then there are a few that definitely became. Everybody who went to American Idol didn't become Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he, you he bring was, the kids to the you ranch. Think the whole purpose was just to audition get, the kids. Getting to the ranch was the semifinals for okay. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Okay. Because he there? had a pool so you of think kids. think Bubbles was what? Randy Jackson? Decided no <laughs> yes. who made it through? It's no for me, dog. Getting, but <laughs> Bubbles was feeling out personalities and shit. And Michael Jackson would be like, this is the one that I could, that I could 
possibly. I can see you making it all the way to LA. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to LA. You're going to LA. And everybody, all the animals, everybody was a part of it. Damn. I'm telling wow. you. I like the story. It's fun. If, 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 <laughs> if, you, if you were molesting children, yeah. you wouldn't molest every child you brought to Neverland Ranch. That'd be idiotic. I that's a bad that's bad playmaking. You weed out the couple that you like, ah, okay. And a lot of kids this are coming. One, he just didn't have enough lot, time. It's a that's a lot of work, also. <laughs> a lot of work that that's you want from Mike. And he's got to do choreography at three, so yeah, he's got to yeah. pick and choose. The, the This Is It tour was coming up, so you got to. What's the video where he uh, where he's like um, underground in a what? It's like uh, in the middle of it, there are just randomly kids like looking through a window at him through a bar. A uh, smooth criminal. Smooth criminal. It's a smooth criminal video, mm-hmm. which is like a classic video. And I watched it recently because I wanted to watch it. And then, like, I realized that he was just always working in this imagery of like him being admired by children. Yeah. And you like you think that was all? It's almost too obvious of a move if you're a child molester. I mean, to at, me, at that time, I could look at it both ways. At that time. That would be the move. If you're just a powerful dude and that nobody's stopping you from doing shit, that would be your move, of course. In the same breath, I think Mike was just on some weird shit. I think the kids kept him young. I think he never lived a real life. And I think he he thought he was a fairy. And um, you know, he got to what, what type of women do you like to fuck? Um like yeah. what just like their personality type, like what type of stuff they like, like just a general conception of the women you like. Mm. Uh, I like girls who are nice and smart, mm-hmm. funny, mm-hmm. Uh, pretty. Pretty. Yeah. W- uh, what type of stuff you got in your house? Like when when women come over. Mm. Uh, to be prepared for them coming over because yeah, you gotta yeah. have that. Right, and you're not gonna fuck everyone that comes over. But what kind of stuff do you have? Uh, roller coasters, giraffes, clowns. <laughs> 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 but I'm saying I don't know, though, like, you like Netflix. You don't like, think you like the roller coasters? A couch, a nice couch. Uh, What's the third one that you got <laughs> for for the for the ladies? For the ladies, I don't know what what is my thing for the ladies. You can't even think of it, right? I guess it would be like that, cooking food because you're a, they're adult women. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? When a nigga got giraffes, trains, candy machines, chocolate, yeah. What Question. type of bitches is he trying to fuck? You don't think you can take a bitch that like a fair? Back to your crib, you like, yo, pull up. And she see you got a motherfucking Ferris wheel and a giraffe. Again, not saying Michael wasn't weird. There's probably some circus on, folk, too. I think Michael died a virgin. I think he died a virgin. Yeah. yeah. What if he was just asexual? I don't think Mike fucked nothing. I, I think that nigga was kid sexual. <laughs> I don't think that. I really I feel like the whole, sexual. the whole, like... Neverland thing Kids or whatever sexual. was him just missing out on his childhood. Like, I truly believe that. And I think he was asexual. I think he was missing out on his childhood for sure. I think he's weird. I think and he they, was weird. Yeah. I'm not going to take that away from him. Yeah. You think he was fucking all these kids? But I think he was doing I weird stuff. I don't know if he can get all the kids to shut up. He was doing weird stuff with kid penis. I and think that is yeah, just a harsh I don't know if he was doing reality. I don't think he can get all the kids to shut up. I think that, oh, like, at some point, we've already got. I think Wade Robinson and them did that shit because it was convenient at the time they did it. But they had already investigated them dudes and shit, and was like, yeah. "No, nah, was nothing here." Mm-hmm. And them dudes had said nothing happened mm-hmm. on numerous occasions. Nah, you saw the 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 the, the one that HBO put out. Yeah, but that's because that nigga. That's Wade Robinson. That's yeah. because that nigga. Um, Mike Mike had not just died, but I think the the amount of time just, was up uh, from them like during the court, they went to court and everything, everything, everything. And they mm-hmm. admitted they didn't do it and everything. Mm-hmm. And the time was up and it was his anniversary. It was like an anniversary yeah, or some it was, shit. It was convenient. Again, yeah. not saying that Michael Jackson, not saying that if you ever found a case right now that you were like, boom, found the actual evidence, Michael Jackson touched a kid. I definitely wouldn't be sitting here being like, sure, 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 sure. I'd be like, okay, yeah, okay, we finally found we the fucking it. case. Yeah. yeah. But, I do fall on the side of being like, I think that nigga was weird as fuck. <laughs> and that is all. Here's where I would, I would be like, okay, fuck it. If Michael at least was with bad bitches I throughout agree. his I life. I agree. It fucks me up too. He had kids with a lady. They weren't his real kids. They weren't his real kids. So but he his claimed, kids, no. he no. claimed he kids. He had black nuts still. But he has so many things going kids. on in his brain that are like, 
Did you you remember the woman that he married in the two thousand in the two yes. thousands? That yeah. That bitch was like barefoot contestant. Yeah, we know. She was <laughs> Not but he's weird. Like yeah. on, if he was touching kids for real, you don't think that he would fake marry the baddest bitch he could? It's Michael fucking Jackson. But he didn't fake marry the baddest bitch he because could. Because he's but weird. He was he was that, that's he not wasn't weird. doing anything wrong. That's like, he was just wrong. Call. Being weird. That's something else. That is the wrong call. No, I don't know why I you don't get a bad bitch. Weird, like, weird is but subjective. that's what I'm saying. He, why wouldn't you get a bad bitch? If he was really touching kids, he's trying to cover it up, right? So you're gonna go marry the baddest bitch. If you don't think anything you're doing is wrong because you're not doing anything wrong, you're just being your own weird self. You don't don't feel like you have to cover anything up by marrying a bad bitch. Because yeah, he didn't really cover shit up. He wasn't like, trying he, to cover anything he is, up. He is rich as fuck. Really he could yeah. do this very elaborate, He wasn't elaborate doing thing. anything wrong. But I think that they, they, so they have not know. scared the nigga. That, that, not lady, that lady that he married, like she carried hay on her shoulder. Yeah, but it's I a line like between. He was probably just I like, believe and she's that. a beautiful person. <laughs> yeah. And I just love her as a person. No, he didn't fuck her. He didn't fuck that woman. That wasn't even his real voice. He didn't That wasn't even his real voice. No, none of it was real. Michael Jackson talked like this. Yeah. Yeah. On blood, Suck nigga. My, he, was a crip. My he was a crip, though. He was a crip. Sure. He was a big on, crip. On yeah. crip, nigga. On the, on the set. Like, a lot on the of set, for sure. He was from Gary, Indiana. Nigga. So if your whole <laughs> life is a sham and all, everything that you're doing is a lie and something set up to divert my attention somewhere else, yeah, I am going to take the safe assumption and say, you was fucking with kids, bro. That's the safe but assumption. But he wasn't trying to I'm hide taking the safe being assumption. weird, though. He was, he had, like, Neverland Ranch. He had all the weird shit. That's not you trying to hide I fuck with kids. Trying I, to hide I fuck with kids is R. Kelly having, like, a secret sex room in his studio. I'm saying he didn't like, have to hide it because you if you're at the level of power where you can buy the Beatles catalog of music, yeah. you can buy any judge, you can buy any lawyer, you can buy any media to say... Anything that you want them yeah, to. Yeah, but do you think in in today's Eminem dissed that nigga? He was like, "I'm gonna buy your shit." Yeah. Do you do you think like right now that nobody would step forward and say, "All right, here are the real stories. We got real facts. We have real evidence." At this point in time, because yeah, there's adults I don't know right if niggas, now. even the niggas who play, they can buy motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like the old people, the forefathers, and everybody in between. Yeah. That felt like they had bought somebody. Their story has come out. Uh, or it's coming out. Yeah, I just think that Michael Jackson's story has tried to come out on numerous occasions, and it just hasn't been able to. And I think because you bought the Beatles and because you bought these things is why, at the end of the day, you're just a nigga, and niggas need to remind you just you just a fucking nigga. And Michael Jackson got beside himself at some point and thought he was a white woman. And, yeah, and so. society straightened him out real quick. Yeah. And now he's not with us anymore. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing about like like you take like Epstein right. Same situation, doing stuff with underage people on islands, da da da, da. His With shit, no hits, might I add. No hits. Yeah. No more walk. Than anybody did not lean forward. Did not lean forward at an acute angle. <laughs> at not all. to my knowledge did Epstein do that. But oh, still, you know what I'm saying? His shit uh, was going to affect other people in power if it got out. Yeah. That's why they were like, you got to go. You gotta Whereas go. Michael was kind of just like, I'm over here on my ranch. Like, I'm doing my own thing. It doesn't aff- If it doesn't affect other people in power, they not really gone. You don't feel like Michael Jackson was in the same boat as a... I'm not a. I'm not here to defend Bill Cosby in any way, shape, or form. But yeah. like in a Bill Cosby and, and black people's conspiracy theorist world, we'll go into. Well, Bill Cosby tried to buy NBC twice. That's enough to humble yeah, a nigga and sure. tell a nigga, hey, nigga. Yeah. Remember, you a nigga. You can't buy NBC, nigga. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So then Bill Cosby, everything comes out. Because society and people knew Bill Cosby was doing this shit for many years. Yeah. So why is it all hitting the fan now? Because you did some shit that upset money. Mm-hmm, did some mm-hmm, shit that upset mm-hmm. white people. Do you not feel like Michael Jackson was kind of the same way? It was like he was Michael doing Jackson. some Yeah, he was stuff. doing some upset with, with, shit. With Sony. And... To a lot of people. Yeah. Big money that was like, who do you think you are? But I think two things can be true at the same time. I think, yeah, yeah. that's what I think all I think of this shit is true, It's actually. all true. Because Big, I, big, big money, I, big money, big power, big perversion, nigga. Yeah, okay. Big peas, nigga. Okay. Like, it's okay. a lot of, like, everybody up there is and doing even some fuck I, shit. I, think, I don't think it's all a machine just to molest kids. I do think he has so much fucking trauma. That's why he's like, cut off here and, like, talk stuff here. That, like, all of this shit is because Michael Jackson is so deeply entrenched in trauma. Mm-hmm. And he is trying for a lot of kids to, like, give them good shit and make children's lives better. Sure. And along the way... 
uh, I think Suck he actually, yeah, was like, was kind of like, they're exploring sexuality. And I never got to explore sexuality. No. And, now, and we're no. both no. That is, both That's exactly I'm the logic. I mean, I'm that's dicks. how he tried watch to hide himself. Both sucking each other. He, he, I basically Mike, am Mike himself tried to be you. like, well, I grew up in Gary, Indiana, and I just no. want them to experience. Nope, I got and, and that's why I was No, disagree. Nah, I disagree. <laughs> Come on. I disagree with you, and I'm going to disagree with you, too. You actually have a friend. I actually have a friend who used to be at Neverland Ranch, right? Or when the hell went there at least once, yeah, right? My friend went there a whole bunch of times. Both of our friends got the same thing. And they're not bad looking guys. They didn't get fucked by Mike. Mike didn't fuck them niggas. So all I'm saying is. Because he knew they was going to be friends with a nigga who would have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> One day, Mike saw the future said, Y'all don't know what podcast it is yet. But I do. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> Stop and those two. This dick. Stop. Mike, Mike was smart. Mental, Mike was smart. He had mental health issues. <laughs> You're sick. Dude. Mike was smart. Yeah, and he he Mike donated. Uh, my Our friends didn't get fucked, bro. My friend's mom uh, uh, had a uh, a daycare in that area, and he donated like these like twenty five thousand dollars worth like strollers, like a big like eight kids stroller. But how many kids got selected out of that fucking daycare? See, and only one got mal- no, that's not true. He none of them. He, none of them. We did. need to stop this shit. We trying yeah. to none of them did. But I think it happened a couple Mike times. Mike forgot he was kids. a nigga, bro. At the end of the day, not like you can get to away with true. certain I shit. I think Mike I think Mike, I'll give him this. I think Max he probably did it like two or three times. What? I think he did it like if two Michael or three times. Michael Jackson, one of the most powerful niggas in the world at the time, I think he did it got two his or three first times. fucking um, whiff of some boy booty holes, some baby booty hole. He ain't gonna stop at two or three times. I think he did it two You're or three times. You're getting addicted to it and if you're you making it your life. Someone, it's no, very you difficult. That he did it. It's very no. difficult to do because of the situation. We're just because making of, up shit take my I down. think he yeah. did it two or three times and people did try to tack on because it's a money machine. It is a thing. There is two exploitation or three times involved. Or two or three people. I think he did two or three boys. Okay. You think Macaulay Culkin was one of them? No, I nah, don't. He was putting a lot of money into that. To that. That right there, bro. It's pictures of this nigga laying in the bed with uh, what's his name? Emmanuel Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis. Yeah. Emmanuel Lewis. You seen the pictures? Emmanuel Lewis of him? was thirty-two at the time, <laughs> and he was hanging with. Come on, bro. <laughs> he made was a grown man. He was making a grown decisions. man. But yeah, but he was still making but decisions. But still was like carrying me like a baby. So we don't think that Emmanuel Lewis is weird? Yeah, Emmanuel Lewis like, is the weird nigga. I, I, I had fuck. to kind of be like, at that <laughs> moment, they had found the right person I'm for each other. I'm going to tie it other. back. Yeah. Emmanuel Lewis and that cartel monkey was doing the same <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Leading kids to the fucking slaughter. You're sick. Fuck Emmanuel Lewis. He was like, look. He's chill with me and I'm child size. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Fuck all you of that. You adult. <laughs> Fuck all of that. Uh-uh. No, I disagree. Hey, Mike, I'm fighting for you on this podcast, man. But you and know, it, it, I knew Elvis movie came out. These niggas ain't said nothing about it. Bro, I diss Elvis. Elvis is the real weirdo. He dropped I'll the fucking new Elvis. movie. Elvis and everybody said Elvis movie so good. I said, Fuck is he fucking kids in it? Oh yeah, do <laughs> they, sure they do they it. confront the controversy? Hell all no, this in it? they no. got to a little bit. They idolize him. I don't for think sure, so. Bro. They got to recognize that he like stole black music and no, it, they I got thought you made him fucking kids. Fucking bro. Well, they got it. part they, two, but like there's also they got a Doja. Doja. That's bro, the two. Are you kidding? They have Doja Cat making a song for the Elvis movie. You think they really? Yeah, Jasmine Sullivan. It broke my heart. I ain't gonna lie. I love Jasmine Sullivan. But that check, I know that check was. It must be nice. They said Doja Cat's not surprising. It was Jasmine Sullivan that I was. Doja Cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was on all kind of blogs <laughs> against us as well for a minute. She was like, "Yeah." Like, she was like, "Elvis I'm with movie. The music." <laughs> she was like, I was- <laughs> so I've been waiting for y'all to call me about this. I called you. I love a message. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit. Yeah, Elvis. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Fuck all these niggas though. Yeah, oh, we went for a fucking two hour tear on Michael Jackson being the worst human <laughs> on earth. We get to Elvis and this nigga saying, "Fuck Elvis." Yeah, Elvis. But we oh, know yeah, why man. fuck Elvis. Yeah, what? Because black people. Huh? I mean, from stealing yeah. from us. Stealing from us. That's cool, but raping the girl. He raping raped the girl. girl. Fucking the kids and stuff is a problem kids. too. Yeah. And his dance moves was all right, man. He couldn't dance. He stole that all, all that shit from us. But that's why I'm saying he ain't even. He ain't even on my radar. I'm like fuck. Fuck you, bro. We, yeah. Little Richard did everything you did. He did. And Elvis like, married a fourteen-year-old. Married her fourteen. Pregnant. Multiple times, didn't he? And he get her pregnant. And got her pregnant. 14. He said once he felt as though a woman had a baby, she wasn't a. Uh, he wasn't attracted. He wasn't attracted to her anymore. Because she looked at her as family. Whoa. I was like, as soon as you have a baby, 30. you're a woman, which means I'm not into you. But in a lot of ways, Elvis was the litmus test for how men in the 1950s thought. 
for real, for real. You think all and, men, and, white white men, white men in the 1950s thought like that, and it's, for certain. And it's also a man that yeah, you sure. give all of the power to, and yeah. like, you, well, you could do whatever you want. He's like, um, I think I'll fuck a 13 year old and yeah. say that after women are pregnant, they're not attracted to me anymore. Yeah. And guys were like, Yeah, I wish I could say that. Yeah, and white then, white men was weird. like, that's crazy for sure. Yeah. If you knew someone had superhuman strength, but they wouldn't admit it, mm -hmm. how would you trick them into proving it? Start trying to pull their dick out of their pants. <laughs> <laughs> Why would your answer be so quick? <laughs> is, this a, is, this a is this a black? Is this a black man? <laughs> is this a black man? He gonna definitely show you some real. <laughs> show me something. They gonna put me through the wall. It's gonna be a zap size <laughs> hole through the wall if he really got. <laughs> Nucky, stop. You'll be like, ain't no way in hell you'll be on a black nigga dick <laughs> without consent. He's gonna definitely throw you through the wall, fam. Start trying to undo that nigga I, belt I, buckle. I'll probably just like do some like basic shit, like, you know, they back turn and then like throw a chair at their ass or some shit and call them or something. No, something up. You pick it but up. That wouldn't prove their strength. Super strength. What if the nigga grabbed it real quick off, like, you know what I'm saying? We gotta get stuck on some thing. train tracks. What nigga you missed in your see, life? This nigga, what he don't want to prove it to you? Have the strength. We didn't say he super speed. Yeah, we didn't say super, no, speed. super speed. Oh, he can stop it. He can stop it. He's like, it. that's not how my strength works exactly. I have yeah. it, but it's not. Like you should have told me that. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta. You kind of gotta tell me what kind of person it is. I feel like. Yeah. So I can get into their psyche. Do you think that if a person has like a superhero like uh, characteristic, they're automatically obligated to be a superhero? You think if a nigga had like super uh, strength or speed, he gotta like use that? shit to save niggas hmm. well if he's just like i don't want to do that shit i think you at least just gotta do good you know what i mean even jesus in the bible he wasn't doing nothing really that crazy he was but like he was like i mean he was i can't raising people from the he dead. was doing all type of shit but that's not but he didn't put a label on it and put a j on his chest and You're say right. i'm i'm jesus he was no. just like he did but he, he, just, he, he, just did anybody he would roll through the hood he would be yeah. like Hey, Tim niggas, I'm pulling I'm a, up. I'm going to spit on your eyes. You're not blind no more. He would do little favors here he and there. He definitely could have been doing way more. He could have been doing way, way, way more. He could have been stunting for real, but he was like, nah, he He didn't do that. nothing for the whole world I mean, when he was alive. Well, he did he it was, for the neighborhood. It just he like, died for the world. That was kind of... He <laughs> died for the at world. At the very end. <laughs> was like, that nigga daddy smoked him. We ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded personal. <laughs> he did all those That's loaves, all them. that fish, all those loaves, all those people. I feel like that was a big hit. That was, that was a, a hit. Yeah. That was a hit, but that's like niggas pulling up with turkeys yeah. to the hood. Yeah. Frank Lucas yeah. shit. You're that's building not crazy. your fan No, nah, but them all, them still different turkeys. You watch a nigga bring just two motherfucking pieces of meat yeah. and some bread and flip that shit around for all y'all. You'd be like, that's he turned, crazy. He turned wine, uh, water into wine. All like, that type of shit. That's little party tricks. Jesus water did party tricks. Water party trick. So you think 2,000 people... They that's party that's raising that's someone Chris from Angel. the dead. That that's a pretty good like two thousand people. That's what is that? That's what A three C in Atlanta. That's it's not even a crazy two thousand people is not a lot. Was like, Jesus traveling around or was he kind of just yeah? In the he was same, traveling around in he the was, day uh, though. You got to get. He was like do. in the same hood. He no, was, he like, was traveling around. The Spider Man of New York. He was in the Jerusalem metropolitan area. He was not really pulling up on niggas though. He was pulling up. It was a whole bunch of problems. Like fucking Roy Wood Jr. said, "Yeah, that Luke Cage joke, nigga. I ain't got." leave Harlem. There's a whole bunch of problems right here, nigga. Jesus didn't have to leave Harlem. But that's what Jesus was say, trying to say. Stop trying to be Superman and just focus on Focus on your hood, Batman. nigga. Focus on your hood. Focus on your hood. Yeah. That's a proverb. Uh, I've never heard one. Yeah. Focus, focus on, on your, your hood, nigga. Jesus was not taking flights to go somewhere else and figure they shit out. He was like... You don't yeah. think Jesus was like just... Oh, he could have. Nah, he, nah. I mean, theoretically, nah. could he have that? I like think there's think so. superpower. Listen, if Jesus was a Marvel superhero, we can't give him every superpower. Oh, you hating on Jesus like that? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> what? What are Jesus? <laughs> nigga did not have an adamantium bones. No, he would be. He a, was not Nightcrawler. But he'd he be like Batman. He, 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 he he's can, not bad. He's you not are Batman. being disrespectful. That was he's messed got up. Some God given. He has gifts. He has a whole okay, bunch of real gifts. Batman's a rich nigga. Thing. Yeah, but he's like, like he only man. stays in his own community. Batman did. Like Batman could have traveled the world. No, Jesus, Jesus, traveled Jesus, too. Had, Jesus traveled. Jesus had two things. He could heal you. Yeah. And he could uh, he could change one thing into another thing. He could kill you. Who did he kill? 
He was just telling he wasn't his daddy. Killing nobody. He was telling his daddy, get rid of this nigga. His, his dad daddy was the real. His that's, dad. Dad. that's why I don't fuck with Jesus because he one of them niggas. Yeah, well, I wasn't really in the trenches. My daddy was the one doing. My no, daddy no. went to. But we all still <laughs> won, though. We all still won. You know, niggas who talk about how like their brother was but killing still drugs. Him, they, they, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you all still won, though. You know what I'm saying? It's the Holy Spirit as well. All three of us make that one. I guess. So if my daddy killed nigga, I I kind killed. of tricked them. He didn't really have Ain't no, no trick, crazy nigga. You a trick, power. nigga. What's up? He walked on water. That's pretty cool. Party trick. That's a good one. That's though. pretty cool. One party time, trick. Though. What party you been to where a nigga not walked on water? Party nigga? trick. I, I didn't see niggas on these. But he didn't, ass, he didn't use his walking on water to save anybody. <laughs> yeah, he was just doing it. He was just he stunned, was just, nigga. He was on Mario. Yeah. <laughs> That's nothing. If you've ever done that shit if, hard, if you've ever done Atlanta cocaine, you have walked on water because <laughs> that was mostly meth. So we could all do that. I'm just saying, like, he didn't do nothing uh, Wolverine-like. He didn't do nothing Silver Surfer-like. You know what I mean? No, nah, I mean, Jesus was a superhero. For, I mean, you hate I mean, then he came back from the dead. Type of, came back from the dead is pretty that good. That shit's crazy. That's Wolverine? Pretty, that's, that's, that's Wolverine crazy. shit. That's some Wolverine shit. That's healing yourself, too. That's, yeah. Ooh, so Jesus is Wolverine. Jesus is not Wolverine. He's not Wolverine. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Wolverine was no, fucking up robots. if he was a like, Marvel superhero, which one would he be? The lamest nigga in the Marvel <laughs> Cinematic <laughs> Universe. That's cap. If you put Jesus in, in Infinity War, you'd be like, boo, get him out of here. <laughs> Thanos, I hope you snap and get this nigga up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> lamest Everyone superhero. Come on, man. <laughs> and, and Jesus is just like, fucking, about, nigga, I got fucking, a bunch of bread. Fucking nigga, Ant, Bat- Ant- Batman, didn't kill, Batman didn't kill anybody. Batman is against killing. Yeah. Sure. So sure. it's Superman. Them DC comics, though, huh? Batman was a fucking billionaire, though. Yeah. You don't think G- Jesus, you don't think is, Jesus is a billionaire? Fuck no. That nigga was a billionaire, nigga. Jesus walking around a Fila slides. That nigga was broke yeah. as hell. No, he, he chose to be broke, nigga. You know how rich you gotta be to be choose to be broke, nigga? And that's why really I hate rich. him more. That's why Jeff I hate Bezos him. Bezos walk around like Fila slides. That's nigga. why I don't like that nigga. Jesus if you did have like money and you walking around like that, fuck parents. you even more. <laughs> Jesus has rich parents. He's one of those kids who like choose to struggle and you're like, but yes. your dad is a billionaire. You don't one of them have wi- one of them white boys who like yeah. Which one you know Jesus was? Which one y'all want? Y'all want the white niggas to step on y'all, y'all want them to be broke. Which be one? honest. I want you to be honest. I don't want you to be no white nigga that's like, yeah, my dad was rich, but I'm doing van life. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I, got a, I got a van and I just drove it across the country because I don't want my dad's force. Suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think Jesus was that? Yeah. Jesus was yeah, privileged I, I as fuck. <laughs> Jesus was doing van life. I mean, Jesus was privileged to the fact that he knew he was going down to do work for a certain amount of years and come back, which is a privilege. You know, yeah. you can just come down and be like, I know what I'm doing here already. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I don't think Jesus was like that privilege while he was here. He was going through the shit. But he was letting himself he was standing, go through the shit. Niggas was fucking spreading rumors about him, standing next to prostitutes, all type of shit. Yeah, but that's what's going to happen when you pop him. It is what's gonna happen when you pop. Everybody got haters. That's why I'm like, even with the Bill Cosby shit, the Michael Jackson. I'm like, yes, you have haters. You're at the fucking high level of doing shit. People trying to take you out. <laughs> Duh, yeah. Jesus. The Romans is on your ass. You talking too much? Shit. Yeah, the Philistines on your ass, nigga. You went in there and flipped the table over. Damn. I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus. Like, yeah. And he had the confidence to do it because his dad was God. You know? We just got to cut this nigga up. Real I like quick, that y'all know his dad is God. Never forget it. Never forget that. <laughs> Never forget it. Listen, I'll give that to Jesus. Your daddy is God. That'll give you a lot of confidence too to know that you yeah. like. You can't and guess what? You can't really fail. And guess what? Your that's dad's my God. daddy too. But it, that's what I'm saying. If we all his children, what the fuck makes you so? I don't special, think nigga? all of y'all think that. That we got children. Yeah, I think I am. You think you just got child? I be thinking I'm better than you niggas and shit. <laughs> Honestly, I walk around with my head high. <laughs> It's easy know. to think that when you live in this house. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. There we go. Why'd it. you do that? <laughs> cut, cut it. What was that? The first cutting thing. I get it. If you really want to protest, you know, throw a party in here. <laughs> Break in here. <laughs> throw a party. <laughs> Did we do it? Yeah, I think this is. Uh, I think that's it. Zach Fox, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank y'all, man. This is fun as hell. Is there anything you w- want the people to check out? Yeah, go watch Pause uh, yeah. with Sam J on mm-hmm. HBO. Go watch Bust Down on Peacock. Uh, go listen to uh, Shut the Fuck Up Talking to Me on Spotify or hell wherever yeah. you stream whoop, whoop. music. Go. Uh, what else is that? It. I think that's it. You got You're great. Abbott, Abbott Elementary. Elementary. Oh, oh go watch Abbott Elementary. You don't do that. Yeah. You a star, nigga. What's yeah, up? You see, but that like, that I don't thing. stunt because I'm not no Jesus ass nigga. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't brag about what I do. <laughs> oh, so yeah. you're faking just like Jesus. 
Thank you, broke nigga. Thank you so broke. much for coming on the show, boy. Yeah, thank you, dog. My I appreciate God, it, my God. <laughs> Zip it up. Zip it out. See you out of here. I... Yeah. Thank you, Alana. That was amazing. Thank you, Alana. <laughs> that was fun as hell. Thank you, Alana. I think y'all have the only fun.